What's going on, VOD people? We are here with the second bracket of Bracket Season 2024. It is Got Vodka's KH Fashion Bracket, the long-awaited, the long-requested. We're going to be looking at all of the characters, outfits. Some characters appear multiple times with different fits throughout the series. We're going to be pitting them against each other. Vodka said, don't ask how I seeded this. I won't. And um, we have a special guest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him up right now. Let's get him. I'm calling, just like Twooey. Hey, what's up? Hi, hi, hi. How's it going? It's PJ. PJ of Cable Town Art is here. Um, oh pr probably the most well-equipped within my circle to assist me with this endeavor. PJ, would you consider yourself a fashionista? Well, compared to the Motley crew that you hang out with, I suppose. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, ha I do hang out with that. Uh... Okay? I'm usually very quiet sometimes on my internal mic, so. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get a sound check for PJ. Let us know how he sounds. Yeah, if I need yeah. to lower the uh, the OST um, before oh, we PJ has a bit great quiet. voice. What a sweet thing. I'm He's a, a bit quiet, quiet, they say. Okay, let me, let me scoot up here a little bit too. Maybe that'll help. Alrighty. Yeah. And um, if the OST is too loud, let me know. I'll lower that a bit. Testing, testing. PJ, how was your day? Let us know. Oh, it was great. You know, I was really excited to do this uh, when you asked me. Was it just yesterday when, mm -hmm. when we were talking about it? That's yeah. crazy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm known really, for planning well. <laughs> well, I mean, <clears throat> I'm really excited about the idea of moving up the ladder of secondary characters in your world. You're not, um, you're, you're a primary character. I'm not on your, um, your collaborator list or whatever it is on your wiki page. That's not up to me. I can't edit I, the... I'm just saying, but here's the thing. It's because I'm not an, enough of their subconsciouses, right? So well, but... If I keep making appearances... It's fine. No, we're, we're working on it right now. We're taking care of it. It's fine. <laughs> I just want to say, they say you're still a little bit quiet, but also that I, uh, there are people on that list that I have collaborated with way fewer times than I have with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. What do I have to do? Like, like yeah, like I, I, the Landy Lodge, I've been on one episode of the Landy Lodge. Like, I think Sunny Novus might even, I don't even think I've ever really done anything with Sunny Novus. Girl, like, Kiwi and Keynote have been That's dead true. for, like, two years. Like, I yeah. don't know. Kiwi's I coming back. I don't know what else. Kiwi's okay. coming back next week for the uh, the trio yeah. bracket, but... All right, this is what he said about my, my cat that ran away. Yeah, we sent him a... We sent Kiwi to a forum upstate. All right, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's get into the fashion bracket. No, PJ's not famously a wispy little boy. That's Keynote you're thinking of. That's gotta suck to be confused with Keynote, PJ. I'm sorry oh, about that. Oh God, sorry. awful. I'm I'm turning my mic up. I think internally. No, yeah, you, it sounds know. you sound louder to me. So I'm assuming for okay, the chat. Great. No one said that I'm you're still. I'm hoping that that's good for everybody. I'm crunching. Okay, now I'm crunching. Apparently, so let's let's take a second here. It's oh, very. God. Am I? My voice is crunchy, or the stream is crunchy, or PJ's is crunchy, it, or the peanut butter. Amazing. No, I think you're good. PJ's crunching. Oh, PJ's crunchy. Okay. PJ got more distorted, but like not louder. They said. <laughs> Um, that's so mean. I think, all right, still though, maybe with time it'll go away. Um, how about you explain more about what this is and I will okay. go look for my external microphone that might help. Okay. All right. Thank you, PJ. I will, I'll stall. Thanks. Okay. PJ is going to go look for some, uh, alternate equipment. Um, I'm gonna skip other world here on the uh, on the OSD. You guys are supposed to say nuts when that happens. Um, so let's just uh, let's just take a look at the bracket before we we like really get into it here. We have um, it seems like Vodka may have grouped them up by game. Um, I did go in yesterday and add image links, so we will be able to visually see all of the all of the uh, designs in a bracket where you know we're judging them based on their aesthetic qualities. Um, Vodka didn't do that. I, I went in and did that. Um, so thanks to me for that, uh, crucial component of the bracket viewing experience. Just waiting for Vodka to yell. You don't hear anything at all. Um, like OST wise. That's probably why he didn't yell nuts at me. Um, although at this point it might be tough if PJ has to fight with the OST. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, the music's probably a bit low. Um... So we have a lot of KH1 up here, I think, yeah, one calm and one daze. And then down here, it seems like a lot of like the, I think it's all women in this yellow portion. 
And then in the purple, is this a three segmented? Oh wait, there's like four segments per, oh, that makes sense. It's a 128 bracket, okay. Um, so all women here, and then this is like all, a lot of cucks in here. <laughs> a lot of cucks and droppers. Uh, and then we have kind of like KH2, KH3 era stuff. Um, I know Vanka said, don't ask how it's... I mean, I'm not really asking about the seeds, more so like the placement and the matchups. Because it's clear that this was not randomized. You, got, you have, you know, Goofy and Donald going up against each other here. Um, yeah, over here we have more KH2 stuff. Yeah, all KH2 actually in this pink part. And then... Uh, Looks like kind of male Disney characters on this side. Um, PJ back? Yeah, hi. Can you hear me? You're way quieter now. <laughs> it's like actually, I like even I can't hear you. Um, so stand by. Uh, yeah, no, he's he's tiny. <laughs> I heard, can you hear me? But then he like evaporated into the audio abyss. I saw you light up, but I heard nothing there. <clears throat> That's alright. Listen, we'll get there. Some can't wait to die! Um... I don't know what it is about... I mean, I, I can open my mixer, but I, I can't make Discord any louder, I don't think. Yeah, Discord's maxed up to 100. Um... How do people do it, you know? I don't know. Oh, you sound better now. Oh, okay, cool. Maybe you just need a second. Um, how about for the audience? How's PJ sounding now? What's <laughs> up, guides? Much better? Sorry about the... Should've known. Oh god, now you're cutting out. <laughs> um, give me a PJ, uh... Um, do, do, do a plug for yourself. Do a Cable Town plug. What are you up to? Uh, hey. PJ. Mm. No, nah, he keeps cutting out. All right, that's okay. We'll, uh, I know, just as the audio is better, now he's... That's okay. We will, uh... Maybe I will try to <laughs> proceed myself. Oh, no. That's, that's okay. Awful. That's all right. Um, do you want to... I don't know why you, you weren't cutting out on your old mic. I don't know, maybe I should just try the old mic and everybody will have to deal with it. Yeah, that might have to be what we do. Um, I will leave a timestamp in the VOD for when we, uh, when we get started on this. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay. Start the intro over again? Maybe that'll help. Um, nah, it's fine. I'll, uh, they'll, they'll be here for I'm the banter. I'm not doing it now, though, am I? No, you're actually good now. Well, maybe it'll be fine. Okay. Maybe we'll be fine. I'll let you know if it's not. Sorry about that, everybody. No, it's okay. That's all right. Um, okay. So let's, let's move on. Let's, let's start our, our first matchup here. Mike was better. Jesus the old Christ. bike was better. <laughs> All right, let us know. PJ, do you have both on hand nearby? Yeah, I'm good. All right, so if he needs to switch, we'll switch over. Try um, talk like you're trying to get someone's attention from ten feet away. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll set us up. What? So, oh, <laughs> now he's yelling. Are you there? Hello. He's that now. He sounds like Doctor Fink. Um, God. Last, Sally! Sally! Uh, last order, thank you for the 22 months there. No worries, I appreciate that. Um, okay, we've got Sora KH1, our first first matchup here, versus Riku Ansem, Riku in the Darkness Pajamas. I've gotta say, I love KH1 Sora, but I don't know if I love the design. Like, it's iconic, but it is just, like, the Mickey anime fit. I don't know how I feel about it. And I... Vodka seated Riku Ansem 16, but I kind of dig the darkness pajamas. I don't like how it's like so skin tight and the kilt. I like the kilt, but what do you okay. think, PJ? Oh, About no, he's cutting out again. We're getting nothing, none of it. Um, maybe switch back to the old one, and I'll just ixnay on the OST so you're not fighting with it. Romper versus onesie, yeah. Um. I mean, I don't... Listen, I'm not going to be mad if either of these win or lose. Um, but, you know, again, I'm a big KH1 boy. KH1 is my favorite game, but I don't know... I don't think that's my favorite Sora outfit. Um, it seems like people are agreeing with me on the Riku Ansem. All right, I heard you again, PJ. Are you on the old mic? Yeah, I'm on the old mic. Okay. I mean, you sound good to me. Um, I, maybe mean, if I, I don't know. 
you know, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, let me, actually, let me fiddle with my OBS a bit. How about, okay. let's try this. Testing, testing. If it was an OBS issue, though, like, you would you would still be able to hear me, though, right? Like Yeah, I mean, I, I hear you fine on both mics, but it's for them. So mm. I think it is an OBS. I, I just uh, messed with my mixer a bit here. Um, better now? Okay. So I'm just going to have the OSC very low so that we're, he's not <laughs> fighting with it. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Anyway, PJ, your thoughts on Sora versus Riku. The chat voted for Riku on the, the Darkness Pajamas variant. Right. Okay, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. Are we, when we talk about fashion, are we talking about like how good the character design is for this mm. character? Or are we talking about things that we would wear ourselves? I don't think, I think if we get into the latter, none of these are going to be suitable for that conversation because there's probably a single digit number of things on this bracket that I would wear myself. Mm. Um, like, would you wear either of these things, PJ? Because I wouldn't. No, but I don't yeah. think I'd fit into any of them. That's, that's fair. I don't think I would either at this point. So Yeah, you I mean, don't want to see me in a bodysuit. Especially these are like, all sinewy <laughs> like that. Yeah. These are, you know, 14, 15-year-old uh, fashion choices. So, yeah, no, I, I would say, like, how would... I 15 either. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> Let me be clear. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I would say this is more so on, like, the aesthetic quality of the design of the clothing oh. and how it fits the well, character. Well, then I say each one Sora. I okay. think I think it's got a very strong silhouette. The colors work. It's a obvious homage to Mickey. Yeah. And, it like, this design, unfortunately, endures. Like, yeah keep coming back to it because it's so clean it is um whereas other designs get more complicated as the games go on yeah. and and this is just like a nice simple look the the dark riku thing is fine but i, I whatever like i think other characters do it better yeah like i think vanitas's version of this outfit is better yeah i would agree i would say that's a good point because we're gonna get this again but better later on so right that kind of sways me i i think i'll I'll pile on with the, uh, the chat did say Riku, but I, I feel convinced by the, uh, Sora well, argument. Well, the there. chat can't be trusted. Uh, yeah, it's, it's tough. Remember it Christmas? Depends. I remember Christmas. I do remember Christmas. Christmas of 2022. Yeah. All right. In 2023. Remember? Uh, Coffee? Incest? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God. That's true. They were, they were really pushing for the incest on that. They sure were. All right. Next up, we have Battle of the Bros here. Only one of Goofy and Donald's can no. proceed here the original designs for goofy and donald um i don't know i i've never really thought about do you think they're due for a new design i should say oh, like absolutely yeah do. i kind of think it'd so be nice good. yeah these are good um it's kind of weird they get like that early um disney castle design and they very rarely come back to that it'd be kind of neat if they maybe use that for all of kh1 and then came back to these for like two or three um mm. I don't know, I kind of like Goofy's vest. I know he has a vest in his traditional design, but I just, I'm feeling right. it here. It's very square. Well, um, th those are staples. Those are things yeah. that make a character a character. Like, if yeah. Goofy didn't have a little weird hat and gloves and a vest and the big honk and shoes, yeah. then, he, you know, he wouldn't be recognizable. Mm -hmm. um, when we talk about good character design, one of the, the base traits of that is having a strong, identifiable silhouette. Which yeah. means, like, if, if you strip away every ounce of detail about the character and leave essentially just their shadow, mm. a good character design should be automatically identifiable by their basic shapes. Yeah. Um, and, and both of these keep to that. You know, they are more complicated. Um, they are more detailed. They do have Nomura zippers and belts and pouches yeah. and buckles and whatever. Yeah. Um, but they're both really good. And so I don't know which one I like better. Yeah. I lean towards Goofy. I think if we're going on that silhouette argument, I feel like he's got more going on that makes it like more definitively Goofy. Um, mm. I don't know. I like his I like his hat. I like his little goggles up there. I feel like I've never really appreciated or noticed the goggles on the hat. They are um, very good. That's a fun touch. They totally can't fit over his gigantic eyes, so maybe it's actually bad. Um, I don't know. My vote's going for Goofy there, though. I think I agree because I also like Goofy's color palette more. Yeah. Um, if you look at it, like it's it's just basic green, gold, and yellow. But then you go to Donald, and yeah, it's it's blue and a splash of yellow. But like, yeah. there are too many blues in that outfit yeah. that are different that I am I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah. Um, I love it. I love Donald's little little um, vest and his little dicky thing over his shoulders. But yeah. <laughs> it's it's too many blues. I agree. 
But it is a courageous choice to not wear pants. So mm -hmm. I do appreciate that. Points for creativity. All mm -hmm. um, right, we'll advance Goofy. Yeah, the thing about Goofy's aviator what goggles is too is that like you'll notice as we go through these when the characters have world form changes, mm -hmm. there are staple things about them that Nomura likes to keep the same. So those those um, those goggles turn into uh, sunglasses in the Toy Story. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, so um, it's fun. Barty points out, have you considered how much neck Goofy has when you look at his turtleneck? Is that a failing of design of the turtleneck that so much of his neck is still naked to the elements? Um, I think it's actually good because it covers up his already very accentuated neck and, and mm. starts to make it look a little bit more normal. His big ass cartoon Adam's apple. Yeah. Without without that, the neck would would be it would look even longer. You're right. Like, this helped. Yeah. Either go full yeah, you're right. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know. Let's go to KH1 Aerith versus KH1 Cloud. So Ooh. so this is tough because Cloud is really just borrowing from Vincent, right? Right. Um, but it is sick. <laughs> like, it's really cool. Um, the wing, the cape, the claw. Mm -hmm. And then you have Aerith. The way that the Buster Sword has, like... Bandages. bandages on it like yeah. oh no the sword got hurt yeah like, <laughs> <laughs> gonna put some neosporin in a bandage on my buster sword yeah um and then Aerith, which um is definitely airing closer to her original design than clouds yeah, is it's, here it's basically her her final fantasy 7 design without the jacket mm -hmm. yeah. um without the the bangles with a different kind of bangle and a purple belt added yeah um it's a good design but i prefer it I prefer the uh, Final Fantasy VII version of this design. Yeah, me too. Um, and I really like how it was refreshed with Remake and how the dress is, it looks much more flowy and comfortable these days. Yeah. So I don't know, this this kind of makes me nervous because I don't think it's very practical, the the character walking, like keeping mm. her hips and her legs in that Yeah, it seems like a, a stiff, yeah, a stiff sort of outfit. Yeah, and I, I know people who have cosplayed as KH1 Aerith, Mm. And they prefer doing KH2 because the KH1 dress is a nightmare to get on mm. and keep on and be comfortable in. So <laughs> That makes sense. Um, I, I do like Cloud. I think Cloud's is a little bit more classic, a little bit more iconic. Yeah. When you think of Kingdom Hearts Cloud, this is you don't think of his Advent Children no. from 2. You think of this. Yeah. And uh, a shame that this doesn't get representation in uh, Smash Bros. Because I would mm -hmm. switch to Cloud and play as that constantly. Um, yeah. I know, again, it, it's borrowing a lot from Vincent, but I think that's like a neat shout out and a neat reference. Um, it's mm -hmm. just doing more for me than the Aerith one, so I would say we're going to advance Cloud then, right? Yeah. All right. Cloud, sorry, women beats. It's the 12 over 5 there. Um, we have Naminé from Calm over Yuffie in KH1. Oh, so <laughs> the thing about, there's funny things with both of these. So obviously Naminé has been stuck in this white dress since, it's been 20 years since mm -hmm. Nami's been wearing the white dress. And then we have Yuffie, who actually, um, if I'm not mistaken, like it was supposed to be FF10 Riku in that role, but they switched it because of the names, because of, you know, yep. KH1 Riku. Um, so she's kind of like rocking a, a bit more of a Riku-inspired outfit here. Um, yep. I mean, you gotta go with Yuffie, right? I mean, I here's know, the thing. Cause... The nominee dress is fitting for like her character. Like She's basically like, you know, an empty slate that's born of, you know, the whole nobody heartless situation that Sora brings upon himself with the sacrifice. Um, it's very, you know, fitting of the aesthetic of Castle Oblivion. Um, it's representative of, like, the blank can canvas that she uses. Mm -hmm. But I think it's, it's also just... very angelic in a way, yeah. which is more for her character as well. Yeah, absolutely. I don't like it. I don't like yeah. it at all. Um, I, she's one of my favorite characters. I think that she's well overdue for a refresh. But even talking about just how it appeared in its first incarnation, um, it's still like it clashes with the character designs of Sora and the others and of the organization. Like mm. in a in a way it is a nice kind of juxtaposition against the organization, but yeah, at the, the same Black time Horse. Yeah, you, you look at Yuffie's and it's like this this has more detail to it. But the yeah. thing about Yuffie's is also that like they didn't change it at all from the Riku concept. Like mm. it's it's exactly that. Yeah. They just swapped out their head. Which right. <laughs> I don't know if that gives it points or takes them away, but yeah. it does work for the character. Um, 
Yeah, neither are particularly strong. I don't I don't see them getting much further, whoever wins, but I, I guess yeah. I would put Yuffie here. I would too. But I, I do appreciate like the symbolism that works into the nominee outfit, but it is it is very simple. Um and I mean I guess there's her um her shoes. She's at least got shoes in addition to the dress, so there's that. The shoes are a nice touch. The yeah. the flowers and the colors are reminiscent of forget me nots, which mm. cute fitting, but... yeah. yeah. It's not whatever. enough. Nope. All right. If someone's asking, do their weapons count as part of their fit? I think whatever's in the model that we're looking at counts as part of the fit. So if they have accessories, right. you know, accessorizing is a huge part of fashion, as a, True. as we know. So it's we'll, a big we'll consider part of character that. design too. Yeah. And you know, nominee doesn't have anything other than a sketch pad. Yeah. Which is iconic, but it's not. Again, it's it's a blank thing. Yeah, so. and not part of the model there either. Um, all right, so we've got uh, Kyrie Cage one versus uh, Selfie Cage one. I mean, Selfie is oh. pretty minimal. Um, I feel like could have at least done like their new models. Come on. Uh, yeah, I just I just grabbed <laughs> from whatever I saw first on the wiki that matched the game that Vaka provided. Um, does Selfie have a newer model that's in the Cage one fit? Does she have like an official coded model? Yes, maybe? Yeah. she has. She has a coded model that's much my bad. Nicer. Well, please enjoy this selfie <laughs> um <laughs> so she's got the yellow dress is that not how she dresses up in og ffa i don't really know it's pretty much the same yeah there there are a couple of differences but this is this is probably one of the closer looks to the original yeah i mean Kyrie's kh1 fit is pretty iconic um she's got the little wrist warmers i guess uh mm -hmm. she's got a um neck necklace thing <laughs> What would you call that? Choker. A choker. choker. <laughs> um, and, you know, you've got the uh, skirt and shorts combo. But here's the thing about Kyrie. This yeah. is the only Kyrie outfit that looks like a natural, like a, a human being could have worn True. this in 2002. That's a great point. Out. Yeah. Like Compared to Sora like and Riku. esque outfit. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, this, this is probably the most normal. Yeah. Um, in, in terms of fashion, like thinking of context of time, Mm -hmm. This is a very 2001, 2002 outfit. Yeah. Um, I yeah, hmm. I think it works, especially for the time, especially for the setting. It's not that selfies is bad. Um, it's just it's it's very simple. It's very plain. It's yeah. also super derivative of what she did before. Yeah. Um, and it's not exciting. Like Kyrie has very bold colors and a palette that works. And maybe like this is the only time that I really like her color palette throughout mm -hmm. the series. Um, yeah, they really go all in on the pink. Straight pink. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, should we are we factoring like hairstyle into this because like hair is part of fashion, you know? Yeah, I mean, I I mean, I think that if I'm I'm really looking at character design, not just yeah. fashion, to be honest. Okay. So I love her hair in mm. one. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a poorly kept secret that Kyrie's you hair is based thing? off of. Yeah, whatever I was wondering. Yeah. doing. Yeah. So. I didn't know if that was true or not, if that was just like a fan it's theory. It's true. Cool. Uh, well, in that case, I feel like we know whose hair is winning here. Because what the fuck is going on with these? <laughs> I know that's how she looks in the OG, but like, what a what a I choice. I the flippy look is cute. You but, like you it? Know, yeah. I don't love it. I just yeah. think it's cute. It is cute. Um, all right. We're going to advance Kyrie. That's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. All right. We got Ansem S.O.D. Oh, man. Children, avert your eyes. Versus Mini. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> so Ansem's got his his uh, chest out, tits. His, yeah, tits his tits, are out. his titties Let's are out. I mean, I love the Ansem coat. I think it's so cool. Um, yeah. I know it takes uh, you know retroactive inspiration from uh, from Xehanort, but I feel like it's Ansem's it. wearing it better. He is, and it's Damn more it. colorful. Xehanort's version does not yeah. have the yellow lining. Right, a bit duller. Um, yeah, it's it's nicer. It's 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 good. Um, this is a really good outfit. It's very classic Tetsuya Nomura. Yeah. Um, yeah. I this is this is not a far cry away from um, Sephiroth. But when you look at Mini, like Mini is is great, but her outfit is is like Japanese kawaii princess. Mm, like, yeah. That's that's exactly what that is. Yeah, and I feel like it's not even the first time you see Minnie in a dress, you know, you get her like that in the, I guess the Musketeers movie came out after KH1, so maybe it is. I'm sure there's other media with Minnie in a oh, dress, she, though. Oh, she's been put in everything. Yeah, <laughs> there's, pants there's suits, no... all of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. To me, it's just kind of a generic princess dress that you're going to see on, you know, a lot of other characters. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, uh, it works for her, but yeah. it's it's not. Yeah, I'm I'm not a huge fan of it. Yeah, and she's got no wedding ring in this model, so that mm -hmm. so points off for that. No accessories besides the crown, the tiara. Um, here's you my question, PJ. Send me that tweet of yours. Yeah, by I the know. Way. And they're like, look at this fucking idiot. The straight yeah, man doesn't know are, what finger like, oh the wedding God. ring is going on. Having no idea that we've been married for three years. I know. PJ and I have been married for longer than Mickey and Minnie have. This is bullshit. Um, <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you, PJ, what is... So this heartless symbol on Ansem's chest, like, physically, mm -hmm. what is that? Is that, like... what um, is, is it even attached to anything? Uh, I don't know, but it's, it's hovering over his lapel, which means that it's not on his skin. Mm-hmm. So I would I change that. Be, I don't know. I think it might be. I think it might just be a button or a pin. Yeah. Um, what are those things called? Those like brooches that hook. You're two asking sides me. Of a sweater together. I'm more asking Jack. <laughs> yeah. If they know. <laughs> yeah. There's a very specific kind of like lapel pin that yeah. connects across like that, a so clasp? that you can wear your. It's kind of a clasp. You hold it. You you wear it over your shoulders. Yeah. Um. A fastener. A fastener. I a don't brooch. know. They're, it's not really a bro. I, <laughs> Almost service says, Pat, he's asking the gay people in chat. <laughs> yeah, like, stay out of this. <laughs> yeah, I'll stay out of this. Um, I That's the one qualm I have with this design, is that I think the floating heartless symbol is kind of goofy. Like, I get that it needs to be there somewhere, but, like, I don't know. There's got to be somewhere else to put it. Um, I don't know where, to be honest, mm. but I don't really like that it's just, like, kind of a floating symbol on his chest, because it doesn't really look like it's tangibly a part of him, but... Even so, we'll advance uh, and some SOD there. Yeah. All right. He's on we got, thin fucking ice. Ooh, this is interesting. So we have KH1 Riku versus just the coat, the organization ooh. coat. And that is tough because the coat is so, you know, ubiquitous with Kingdom Hearts. It's so representative Wait. of, like, everything that the series is about. Um, why does it say days? Um, I don't know. I don't know why Vaka, Vaka did it. So <laughs> it's, yeah. that's. That's your answer. Mm -hmm. um, this well, is just the image that I grabbed from the wiki, which I think yeah. this is probably a KH three render. I would assume. Um, uh, I think it's the master. Mm, okay. So it might be from back cover. That makes sense. Um, um, yeah. I mean, I'm not as attached to the KH one Riku design as I am to the other KH one main trio designs i feel like I, is this question? yeah i agree i think it's the weakest of riku's designs as well yeah i think so i mean i don't know i'm not a huge fan of his cage 3 one but i don't know like his oh, legs are goofy outfit. in this oh you like that one i don't know i i, love that I don't hate it i think i think cage 2 is probably my favorite but it's also like the edgiest and the you know the punkiest mm -hmm. of the outfits mm -hmm. um I don't know. I don't. I don't care for the pants on Riku here. I feel like he's got these little weird ankle buckle things. Uh, these ankle belts. Yeah, I That's kind of weird. I think it's supposed to. I think it's supposed to resemble fishermen's pants. Okay. Uh, in in Japanese culture, when they're working in shallow water, they cuff their pants like that to keep the water from. Oh, that's neat. Going into their boots, um, but it doesn't really make sense here. Yeah. So. Like is Riku doing a ton of fishing? I don't think he is. Um, I, I know that I caught some fish by hand when we True. were doing the raft, so yeah. I don't know yeah. what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Um, I don't know, it's not a bad design, and I do like the, the yellow and blue there. What um, is this question? But I don't know, I, I just feel like the coat is so... It's so good. <laughs> like, I think every kid playing these games wanted one of the coats growing up. Um, no one really mm, wanted to yeah. dress up as Riku, I don't think. Well, now everybody's got one of these coats. People complain about everybody having a keyblade, but what they really need to complain about is everybody getting these fucking coats. Yeah. That's true. The coat is uh, a really hot commodity in the series mm -hmm. now. Sorry, I had some questions to answer here. Pat, yeah. which black coat is the best? The Cage 2 has different cuts. Do you have an opinion on that, PJ? Like, I know that's true, but I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, like, which um, coats are different. I, they're, I mean, they're all different. All of the coats are cut to the different characters proportions and so some of them have different uh little things about them for example vexen his sleeves are too long and his right. shoulders are really broad larkseen has hella hips yeah um, <laughs> yeah uh, axel and zigbar's arms are like tight 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 oh yeah yeah that's um, true yeah I, and uh larkseen and, and shion have heels because they're women right right um yeah, so like, like they all have different cuts. I think 
I think that Marluxia and Syx wear it really well. It's very clean with them. Um, mm. But I don't know. I like I like all the little quirks that they all have. But my favorite version of the coat is the post uh, back cover version that mm. we see now with the the keyblade zipper that they oh, have yeah. retconned into it. Can we it. zoom in on that a bit? I uh, can't really see it there, but yeah, that is a neat touch. Um, yeah. Are we in agreement that we're going to advance that one? Yeah. Um, also, disregarding fashion, do you think the organization coat is comfortable to wear? I imagine you sweat like crazy from running around in it in broad daylight. Yeah, mm, probably. I, don't think I mean, it's comfortable. is it all leather? Like, is that what it's made out of? Because if that's I don't the case, know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's probably made out of some other world world yeah. <laughs> material that we don't have. Yeah. Some sort of darkness synthesis material. The zipper is not unique to Mom. They uh, they retroactively added it to all of the coats after this. There you go. I actually didn't realize that, but could you could you believe it, PJ? That I didn't re uh, recognize the minute detail in the design. I'm shocked and appalled. <laughs> Next up, we got the matchup for the ages: KH1 Leon versus Kyrie's grandma. Um, so hot topic versus your grandma. Um, what do you think, BJ? That's not my grandma. My grandma no. wears like, like uh, Tweety Bird T-shirts and yeah, you know, that's true. Tattoos. Yeah. Um, I like Leon's new outfit. I I think that when you look at Squalls from Eight versus how Leon looks, like it is a mature look. It's a mature version of of the coat. It's you know him at nineteen versus him at twenty five. Yeah, uh, God. and I think the hair really works for him. Like, I look at Squall and I go, like, oh my God, like, fucking nerd. You're not my guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But on the other I hand... I really like it. Yeah. I mean, Kyrie's grandma is, is, is good. It's classic. If we ever find out that she's another character, though, mm. it'll be interesting to see if they incorporated any of that into that character design. So yeah. this could become more interesting in retrospect, but we're not there. And I don't know if we ever will be there. Yeah, it's cute. I... I mean, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, either there's really like two aspects to this design here on Kyrie's grandma. It's the apron type dress thing and the neckerchief. <laughs> Is that right? What would you call yeah, that? She, um, it's a little too big to be an ascot. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I might call it a wrap or a, a, yeah. a very small shawl. I don't know. I feel like as soon as you see any like anything resembling this on a character, you'd be like, oh, it's Kyrie's grandma. It'll be a giveaway. Okay, um, everyone. I already said shawl. Let's move on from shawl. <laughs> I said it was a very small shawl. Thank you very much. There you go. Um, um, I do like the consistent branding on Leon, although is it maybe a bit overbranded? You know, you got the necklace. You got the little patch on his arm. You got the, the keychain. Um, he's very consistent I mean, with the, the lion head. Yeah, but like if you look at Sora, he's got the necklace, but he also has the 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 pants chain that is oh, just right. the crown stacked on top of each other like a hundred times. Yeah, it's a good and point. nobody ever brings that up. Um, I mean, we should go back it's, to it's that. A bit much, but what Can I also like about Leon's yeah. jacket is that it tells a broader story because it has the Renoa wings on the back. Oh, well, um, unfortunately, we can't that, see that in this render, but yeah, right. that's a good call. But, you know, Nomura said that that hints at his tragic backstory. So he thinks that uh, Renoa is dead or something, or he was separated from her. Right, she died uh, in Hall of Ashen. At the Garden. Yeah. So there's there's definitely a story there without a story, and uh, I like it when, when clothes do that. So that's yeah. why I want to push him forward. Yeah, I think that's easy. A story in clothing, what more could you ask for? Leon moves on. We move on to our next uh, section here. Now we're all in um, Disney Women, I believe, is the theme of this quadrant. Or whatever you would call it. Not a quadrant, but it's part of the bracket. We have uh, Esmeralda from Dream Drop versus KH1 Cinderella, which I did grab the KH1 renter. How could... Don't do her dirty. <laughs> but listen, she's going to look, you know, relatively the same fashion-wise. No, no, no. It's, it's totally different. This is what Vaka said. She said KH1, so I grabbed KH1 well, Cinderella. Yeah, and then they, they patched this out. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, but it's so... it's so. Their faces are so funny. They just... They're so Esmeralda dead Esmeralda is great. Esmeralda yeah. is, is a cool character, but if we're talking about fashion, mm -hmm. Cinderella's ball gown and hair and all of that has, it's the most iconic princess look. It's the clear, I know you mm. guys are all like lesbians from the 90s. I know that you love Esmeralda. I get it. <laughs> yeah. It's not what this is. Right. This is fashion. This is for lesbians from the 50s, okay? This is different. <laughs> yeah. 
One of my favorite thing, it's not Esmeralda, sorry. One of my favorite things though about Disney princesses is that there's mm. this unwritten rule that their designs are period plus time it was designed. So uh-huh. like Cinderella, her dress is from the late 1800s, but it's really also from the 50s. Yeah. You look at Snow White and she's from, you know, whenever in Germany, but she also has mm. like a very 1930s bob. Mm. Um, yeah. I just, I love that. I love that about these characters. Does that apply you know, to like the this? 90s and the 2000s characters as well? Is that like still yeah. a, a thing they do? Yeah, yeah, look at, I mean, look at Elsa and tell me that you didn't see that braid in every white girl's hair. Oh, that's a great point. That's a great point. <laughs> yeah, that was tell like very that. like, like fall pumpkin spice latte sort of uh, yeah. T-Swift but, sort of energy. Let, let's, let's flip over to Esmeralda and let me tell you yeah. why I don't think it's her. Okay. She's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Her color palette is really nice. As as a human, she's definitely more beautiful than Cinderella. I mean, the whole idea of Cinderella is that she's kind of just like a plain girl that's uh, been living in, in squalor for yeah. a good bit there. So yeah, that's fair. But there are a lot of colors, and they go mm-hmm. well together. But there's too much going on. You think? It's 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 just I don't know. It's, what would it's you change? Beautiful, but it's not fashion. Um, it's not fashion. It's not fashion. I, I don't think I would change anything because yeah. it's very indicative of her character. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, it's it's great for the, the times. In fact, if you were trying to do something more fashionable from that time period, it would look awful because people didn't know how to dress back then. Yeah. Um, so she looks good, but it's it's just not it's not the same to me. Like, I'm sorry. Like, it's it's yeah. not the clothes aren't doing it like it's her it's her pose it's her cool character design it's the stuff that she does in the movie that makes her yeah. look cool we have to divorce the outfit we have to divorce the outfit from the personality it's and what the character the does cinderella's yeah. dress is couture oh. like cinder the entire point of cinderella's character is the fact that she gets this upgrade right so like <laughs> you know you can hate me if you want but <laughs> like every every princess dress that was ever made after this was you know had this cinderella dress in mind yeah, that's true. Because like Snow White before her wasn't like a dress dress uh, Disney princess. She just had like a little outfit. Mm-hmm. But Cinderella is like the uh, yeah. the foundation okay. for that. And then you know Aurora is going to follow. Belle is going to follow. So you kind of have to respect the the or, people? the originator of the Disney princess dress. Um, mm-hmm. Listen, I'm really just along for the ride. I'm a big lark scene, death scene sort of guy for this bracket. So PJ's got me convinced. PJ could tell me. That someone wearing a potato sack like if ansem and the brown robe is here and pj is going to be able to convince me that that's the move so we'll move cindy along shout out to ruthie sorry guys <laughs> we got go go versus honey lemon we got a co-workers being pit against each other oh here. this one's tough this one's um, tough well honey lemon's got an accessory she's got her her science purse um which looks like like it's made out of candy, like the the beads that uh, I want to eat the purse is what I'm trying to say. Sure. And sure. then Gogo is definitely a bit sleeker. Um, she could fit into like a Tron movie for sure. Um, I don't know. I think it's I think it's Gogo. I I appreciate yeah. the honey is accessorizing, and I love yeah. her character. And if we were talking about their clothes outside of their superhero clothes, um, mm. I like I like Honey's style better, but that's that's not what happens in kingdom hearts yeah um you know i love the basic element purse where she can just type in different elements on the periodic table and come up with a bomb yeah that's sick that's really cool um it's unfortunate that her bag looks like anal beads <laughs> that's not what i thought i thought it looked like like um chewy sweet tarts but you know i know well either way either <laughs> yeah. way they're going inside they're the honey. same thing yeah. um either way they're going. Look at go go <laughs> yeah. and uh hers is clean and it's yellow and it's good and it's fresh and yeah the the discs that turn into rollerblades on her feet are really cool. Yeah, there is a Tron nod there for sure, but it, like it fits her. It fits her really yeah. well. Um, it's just so clean and good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go. That's like no PJ. Why would you <laughs> stop cooking? <laughs> Get this man out of the kitchen. He's cooking. Get him out. Um, yeah, I, well, yeah <laughs> I agree with Gogo. I also like that she has uh, purple highlights in her hair. That's fun. All right. Yeah, that's good. Go go Tomogo. Is it t- Tomago? Go go t- Tomogo? Tomago? I don't know. I, I don't know. I haven't seen Big Hero 6 in several years. Okay. Speaking of Snow White, she's here. Cage 1 Snow White versus Cage 2 Meg. Ooh. ooh. That's very much pick? OG Let's Cage 1 Snow White. Oh, you picked. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. That model it haunts me. It's so yeah. bad. Um, It's not great. 
so it's what do you think great. pj i feel like you know snow white's got an iconic color palette um it's she's got the got primary superman palette yeah, there, <laughs> yeah was, you're right. there, there was something in the 30s about people like using primary colors as, as character design i don't know mm. what it was yeah um i like snow white i i respect her design i think it's a fun twist on <clears throat> fairy tale culture and 1930s mm -hmm. but when you look at meg it's a stronger silhouette it's yeah. simpler colors that work better with her skin and her hair um it's her hair's more, so cool yeah and her hips her shoulders everything is in proportion but it's exaggerated in a cartoon yeah. kind of way and snow white unfortunately kind of looks like a child bride and that's not fun yeah <laughs> um but that's meg is great Meg yeah. is wispy she's got that consistent character design i think it's meg all the way yeah i am inclined to agree on that that's a pretty easy advancement for meg there yeah. all right next up kh1 alice versus dream drop distance cora right. um <laughs> <laughs> very very different characters and designs here um god where to begin uh god i, I don't really care about any of the grid designs um so I don't, I don't know either, but her look is good. It like, is a good look. It, it, it we're fits talking her fashion. Yeah. Her, her asymmetric hair and the way, way that that cut is and the colors are really cool. Mm -hmm. But I think that Alice's outfit is a better design. Um, okay. I love the colors. I love. Again, the silhouette is really cool. She's got that, you know, you, you know her when you see her. In fact, yeah. That color has been renamed Alice Blue because of oh, wow. how iconic the dress is. I love to um, learn. And her, yeah, the ribbon on her head is also intentionally um, inspired by a rabbit. So it's like she's got little bunny ears. Oh, yeah, um, that's cute. I like that. Yeah. Mary Blair did a lot of fun things with the, the initial designs of this character. Look at she's that. one of my favorite Disney artists. Um, yeah, I, I think it's Alice. Yeah. Listen. Again, I like I like Again, a reference. I like a story in the outfit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you've convinced me. Four over thirteen there. Next up, you know, Rapunzel. Pat, if you want to just leave me alone with everybody. Yeah, no, I. You want to just take over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got a. Uh, uh, we have um, Cage Two Mulan versus Cage Three Rapunzel. I keep checking off both. Yeah, you're right. Let me not, let me uh, stop doing that. Oops. The unfortunate thing, is that. Go ahead, sorry. They, they picked this outfit for Mulan. Because Mulan has a lot of great outfits in the yeah. movie. Yeah. Doesn't she and have, like, the actual, like, flowy dress type thing? That'd be much more fun. She has a dress that she wears at the beginning. Mm. Um, she has a normal dress outfit. She has the soldier armor, which she wears through the first half of her world, which is a good book. Yeah. Um, she has this outfit very briefly before she turns... Um, she is in another dress which is mm -hmm. really cool yeah um this this particular outfit is not great it's, it's her bland. out of her armor it's very basic it's bland yeah. this outfit was not supposed to be indicative of her character this was a um just something that she wore when she was abandoned on the mountain right so it's you know it's weird that I they keep I her in that fault her for that mm -hmm. um it is weird it is weird um, and i feel like even <laughs> back then in cage 2 like they had the ability to you know have her wearing the ping outfit and then you know to have this for a bit but then to change into something that's a bit more indicative of, of her character later on like even on the second visit you know yeah, like leave her in this for the rest of, they of the Shani fight. In the blue one. yeah um yeah. and then you got rapunzel here she's got a very detailed dress um yeah i think she clears mulan mm -hmm. here um, yeah, and I think I like the way that her dress is rendered in Kingdom Hearts better than I do the way it looks in the movie. Oh, there you go. Yeah, like in, in Kingdom Hearts, it's very matte. It's very, um, it looks comfortable and not cheap. And in the movie, it's like so silky yeah. that like it makes you think of a bad Halloween costume. Mm, yeah, like a party city kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> the colors are good. The purples and the pinks. Her hair design is great. Mm -hmm. um, she's very clearly a Glenn Keane character with the big eyes and swoopy hair. Mm. Um, you know, he also did Ariel. He also did. Um, oh, that makes sense. Uh, he did a uh, child Tarzan. I think he did a couple other characters, but oh, okay. yeah, she's, she's got the same DNA of, of Ariel for sure. Yeah. And uh, I like it. I like her blonde hair. It's unfortunate that she has that really awful jagged Brown cut once it's, you know, cut and she can okay. never grow it back out. 
I'm glad you but, agree because I think that this is superior hair to the brown jagged oh, hair. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for okay. sure. And then her but, hair grows back in the show, and oh. then they cut it again back <laughs> to the the shagged, crappy brown look. That's funny. Oh, Chad doesn't like that. Chad doesn't like that uh, we don't like the brown hair. That we don't like her short brown hair. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think part of it's like, hey, you don't need the hair to be happy and have love with Flynn, but also, like, it doesn't look as okay. good. Okay, look, just because you guys all clearly have brown hair and you've gone through, like, your short bob looks and you want to justify it, that's cool. But this character was created with blonde hair and an outfit that matched it. So yeah. then when you try and get her in the same color palette with the short brown hair, it doesn't work. They should have redesigned it. It's true. I know why the short hair is jagged, Jam Jacamara. <laughs> no, besides the it's point, it's their first time chatting. Leaving them alone. <laughs> Give them a break. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's a good point. You came in my house, and the first <laughs> thing you said was actually. <laughs> Damn, I'm so sorry. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> You're really welcome. It's a All good right. point. Well, here's the thing: if if we were looking at her her haircut version, mm -hmm. you could make the argument that it's telling a story, right? Yeah. But so is the long hair. So I yeah, don't you're know. right. And we also have to we have to remember that Rapunzel made this outfit herself. Oh yeah, she's very skilled. I mean, she she better be yeah. after being stuck in a room for 17 years. Um, mm -hmm. She's she's uh, picked up some trades, so good for her. Um, regardless mm -hmm. of the haircut, I feel like we advance Rapunzel anyway. For sure, for sure. All right, we the got Jasmine. The pan. Yeah, Jasmine KH1, Bell KH1. The oh. thing about KH1 Bell is that she's in the dress. Bell, Bell, yeah. Bell. Bell, Bell, the the yellow, the gold yellow ball gown. It's the most iconic look, you know. It's really and everybody good. in this chat, you know, I, I, I don't even need to say it, but I'm going to. Everyone in this chat, everyone that grew up in the '90s, if we ever see Emma Watson, it's on fucking sight, okay? <laughs> because she is single-handedly behind what they did to that dress in the live-action movie. She chose to change it. Yes. I had no idea. I listen. She I never saw it. Ugly. Yeah. I had no idea. See? Look. Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> March, That's so my minions. <laughs> That's so funny. I had no idea. So what's wrong with the Emma Watson dress? Okay. Let me let me break it down for you. Yeah. Uh, Emma Watson had a real problem with Belle wearing a corset because she thought it was anti-feminist. Okay. Which I mean, is it's... really very shallow. I mean, like... it's set in a, you know, it's a period piece, right? It is. And all of the other outfits are, like, at least a little bit more historically accurate. But moreover, like... Corsets are meant to reinforce you and to help you move and breathe in the dress. They're actually incredibly helpful, especially if you're wearing a heavier thing. It gives you your shape. It takes all of the weight off of your shoulders, off of mm. you. Like, it helps distribute that more. A good fitting corset is actually just as easy to breathe in as any other piece of tight clothing. But it has this negative connotation about binding women. So it's become like mm -hmm. this very cheap anti, you know, like anti-women symbol. When in reality, it was just another piece of, of, of clothing. And because she refused to wear one, they had to make this ugly fucking dress that had broad shoulders. So you don't even get like the classic belt, like off the shoulder look. Um, mm, the yeah. skirt doesn't hang off the hips. There's no real layering. Um, the... I don't know why, but they have like a they have a metallic gold embossing on every flap of that dress for some reason. Uh, the dress is all canary yellow instead of being like golden and, and actual gold like it should be. It's gotcha. just ugly. It's just so ugly. <laughs> Here's how you know that I know nothing. Because I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, it's the same it's the same as this. Like no. they're the same. No, no, no. no, I know, I believe you. Also oh, she's missing the uh the big long gloves. In here, does yeah, Bell I mean, always have the big long gloves? Yeah, but that's yeah. less important. Yeah, I mean, it's just so ugly. It's so. But we're not talking about Emma Watson. We're talking about Jazz or not Jasmine Bell, <laughs> not Jasmine. Do we hate the yeah, Jasmine Jasmine's design? Jasmine's outfit is Jasmine's outfit is cute, but I think mm -hmm. that she wears other cool things in her respective media, and I think yeah. that this is like this is her simple outfit. It's cool, but she really showed up underdressed to the kidnapping. Yeah. So. All right, we'll advance Bell. I'm fine with that. Let's do it. All right, we got a battle of the sisters here. Elsa versus Anna. Mm. Um, Elsa. Hmm. Yeah, I, don't I mean, think about it. these I don't are have to look at it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there anything nice we can say about Anna before we put her in the in the bin? 
again, Anna's outfit is about the story. She yeah. acquires that outfit while she's lost in the mountains and she has to stop at a trading post mm. because she doesn't have winter clothes on because the right. blizzard takes place in July. Yeah. Um, and so she has a, like a very dorky outfit that is, you know, pretty culturally accurate um, for, you know, where they are. Um, yeah. for, for that, that gets points, right? Because Elsa's like, Elsa's dress is very clearly like this was made in the 2000s. It has no cultural or time accurate significance. It's got like yeah. a slit in it. It, it's, it. it doesn't make any sense for the movie. The dress mm. clashes, Elsa's dress clashes with every other outfit in Frozen. But as a piece of fashion, as character design, it's very compelling. Yeah. So and it's, it's a different take on the on the iconic Disney dress. You know, I feel like all of them have been like the big poofy bell right. Cinderella types. This is a, a bit right. more flowing and uh, nobody in the 2000s is, is wearing those big wide skirts yeah. like that. Right. So if you're making something that you're going to make a small version of for children. Yeah. Which they have to think of now when right. they when they make these designs. Um, this is what happens. Yeah. And the the secrets at disney are so well guarded that when they made kingdom hearts 3 they gave the developers access to the untextured models for elsa mm, yeah but they refused to disclose how many snowflakes are in her cape why <laughs> i don't cuz it's a well guarded secret i guess yeah. i don't know it is it's it's fucking nuts that is weird Anna actually beat Elsa in the uh, Twitch poll by one vote, but I Cause, I would be because they like her because she's quirky. Yeah, she's uh, holds up Spork XD so random. No, I would say Elsa for sure. <laughs> Peachy's so mean to us. <laughs> <laughs> Elsa moves on. All right, KH1 Aurora I love versus you guys. Don't be mad. KH2 Elizabeth. Oh, oh man, God, their faces. I mean, listen. She's very Kira Knightley in this. I feel like they really, they really captured the uh, the Kira Knightley sort of face that she does. Yeah. Well, um, they, both of these characters got done dirty for different reasons. Yeah. I mean, God. that's tough. I don't love either of these. Um, that dress is so pretty in the movie and in you know Birth by Sleep and the corrected Kingdom Hearts. It's it's such a shame that this is the the model for, for yeah. Aurora. Um, it's not great. But then Elizabeth's dress is gorgeous. Like, in the movie, it's gorgeous. In the game, it's really cool. Uh, but God, what the fuck did they do to her? Like, look at her. God, <laughs> I can't look at her anymore. But you, you look at Elizabeth and, like, ugh, it's just, it's it was really well rendered in the game. Yeah. In the movie, it looks a little better. You know, in, in the movie, she doesn't have this dress on for very long. And they, they kept her in mm. it. In Kingdom Hearts, for some reason. Yeah, I don't remember her wearing it a ton in the movies, so that's a good, she, good call. She wears it in the very beginning, and they cut her out of it because she can't breathe. Ah, uh, right, because of the corset. Yeah, the corset strikes again. I think that this was actually, yeah, the the if you had one of those domino memes, you yeah. should put this dress <laughs> on one end and then Emma Watson's ugly fucking canary thing on the other. Yeah, it all started um, here. Yeah, I, I like Elizabeth's wine red dress that she wears in that movie more. Mm. But you know, they don't have it in here, and we gotta we gotta go with what we have. Make do so, with what we've got. Is that word advancing? That, I will say though, on on the subject of Aurora, though, really quickly, yeah. again, we have an outfit that was, you know, it's supposed to be inspired by the Renaissance, which it kind of is. But you look at it again, and it's very indicative of its time period. Yeah. Um, everything in Sleeping Beauty is very angular. And that includes the character design. You mm -hmm. see, you see the, the the shoulder things off of the sleeve, off of her shoulder. How they go out at an angle. The corset and her yeah. her waist goes out at an angle. The flaps on her hips go out at an angle. Her her crown is very angular. Like this, this is a really beautiful dress, and it's great character design. But if we're looking at the fashion of it all as well, like Elizabeth's dress is just prettier. Yeah. Listen, so it's hard. It's difficult. I lean towards Elizabeth because I think uh, I like the pink Aurora dress more than the blue one. And that's my baby micro brain take on that. Mm. Well, it's the same dress, but I. I hear right. It. Yeah. Also, I, I hate that they put her in pink. <laughs> yeah. I, I hate take. that they put her in pink and I hate that they put Cinderella in blue. Sorry. 
I just think I just think the pink one sticks out more when it's like with all the other Disney princesses. That's why I pick. That's why. Yeah, I but think... if they let Cinderella have silver and white, they could right. give her back her blue dress, and it would be fine. I and I I agree with that. I'm just saying I tend to see when you see all the princesses lined up, I feel like it's usually Cinderella in the blue and Aurora in the pink. So I feel like that's probably why they did it, right? Although it may it doesn't make sense. Like like you say, if they give Cinderella the white, then there is no contrast or. Uh, I think they I overlap. think they're shying away from it though because they don't want. Cinderella to look like a bride. Oh, okay, that makes sense. But I, you know, I don't care. Whatever. Yeah, I mean the white dress is cooler for Cinderella, absolutely. Um, so I say Elizabeth. Then we good on that? Yeah. All right. Um, PJ, can I take a break to pee and get a new drink? Yeah, if you want. All right. Um, we'll be right kind back. Of exacerbating the problem, though. No, I. Uh, no, you're you're not my dad. Let me let me uh, go to break, and it will be we'll be right back. Hang tight, folks. Go piss, girl. All right, let me go to BRB.
Oh, there's my intro. Hey, we're back. To all the people who thought I was pooping, I wasn't pooping. I was peeing for a long time, and I had to make another rum and coke. Um, I've only ever pooping. I've only ever pooped during stream one time, and that was 2021. Um, and I was I didn't even leave to go do it. I did it sitting here, so you wouldn't even known. Oh, All we right. knew. You knew, yeah. I washed my hands. Yeah, what do you take me for? I'm not a fucking barbarian. Mm. Um, let me move on to our next section here. We have Cage Three Riku versus Dream Drop Riku. Uh. Um. Let me unzoom out on these. <laughs> so, I don't know. I actually kind of like the uh, KH3 or the, the Dream Drop Riku outfit a bit more. Um, and I don't like Dream Drop Distance as a game as much, but I feel like, I don't know, KH3 has this thing with the plaid, and I'm not sure if I'm digging the plaid too much. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah! Oh, oh, Uma's Orbit. Hot take, I don't like Riku with short hair. He looks like a turf. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like him okay with the short hair. I I think... Because, again, it's telling a story. Like, he cut his hair to, to get a fresh start. Yeah. Um, And I think it looks good. But you're. I think you're right. I think I like Dream Drop Distance better because it has more yellow. Like, yeah. <clears throat> completely get rid of that. Outfit. His cage three outfit's nice. I really like it, but it's it's pretty bland color wise. I guess they have the little strip of yellow on his shoulders yeah. here, but that's, that's all. it's weird to get rid of that. You would think his outfit would get maybe a bit brighter as he shrugs off the uh, the darkness influences, but it kind of takes a more muted uh, route there. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is wearable for me, almost. Like a jacket, like a sleeveless jacket, maybe not, but like the jeans, the shoes. I, I like know. it because it's a little junior version of his Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's it's very clear in its its design references. And uh, I like his shoes, too. I like the, the mm. high tops. What do you think about the popped collar? Riku is a gay guy. It's fine. <laughs> I guess he doesn't really have it as much in any other design, does he? So the Dream Drop no, is an exclusive pop collar He's a little gay prep, and he's he's going to be a master. It's fine. All right, let's do Dream Drop then. The 16 over the 1 there. Easy. All right. Next up, we got Brain versus Ephemer. Oof. I probably should have grabbed the Cuck Sprite for Ephemer, so it's fair. But, um... Huh. Bastard. Yeah. Um... Does Brain mm. rock the Fododo? Is he making it work? I mean, I guess. I think that... I, I'm not fond of Brain's design, mm. but I have to admit that it is very sleek and stylish. Mm -hmm. um, if if we were looking at Brain's Chirithi, he would win. Mm. No doubt about it. Yeah. Um, but that's not the case. But with Ephemer, like, Ephemer's outfit is also not very um, amazing. But at the same time... I love the scarf. I love the collars. I love that when you really look at it, like you can tell that this character is related to Xehanort. But moreover, yeah. um, his hair, his 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 hair is designed to look like a dandelion, and I love that. Oh, Scott, PJ, you're so good with these things. I had no idea. Um, yeah. Let's let's pull up the brain cheer at the. It'll be a little little scuffed there, but yeah, he's a cute little man. I like that. I like his little cape, his little star purse. Look at how cute that is. Yeah. Um, so what do you think, Ephemer? Then he's got a little satchel. I think, yeah, I think Ephemer. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Brain's uh, cool, but he's he's just Ericus and a fedora. If I'm being honest. Um, yeah. I like the jacket, I, but it's like this outfit is not very Kingdom Heartsy to me. Um, yeah. I, I I don't know. I think I think it's pretty. I think it matches with the other Kingdom Hearts key characters in so much that it's, it's underwhelming, not super flamboyant. Yeah. Very clearly Japanese fashion. Um, and that's fine, but it, it's not pushing it over the edge for me. Okay. Well, I like I like the scarf. So I'm yep. going to I'm going to vote for Ephemer as well. <laughs> oh Scarf's god. Cute. Yeah. Yep. All right. We got Lorium versus Ava. This is tough Ooh. with the foretellers because it's you know pretty uh, pretty homogenous sort of idea with the robes and the animal mask. 
I know. Um, she's I, got a cool keyblade. Key, I kind of hate the foreteller robes, but yeah. they serve a really good purpose. Mm. Um, and I love Ava's color palette a lot, and her keyblade is great. Yeah. Um, and I think that the foreteller robes of all of them, like it, really works the best on Ava. Um, yeah, I'll have to get another look at the other ones, but, like, I don't I don't hate it on her. I mean, it's hard to say on her, because, like, I don't know who this woman is, you know? It's, like, mm. it's a neck and a chin so far, so it's, like, I don't know. She's my favorite foreteller. She's, she's, you know, quick like a fox. She's, yeah. She's very clever. I'm in a said boy. I love a big dumb guy, so, <laughs> but... Wait a minute. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> we got Lorium here. Pink on pink violence. Yeah, um, I like Lorium's design. I, I think... It's, it's a hard thing to look at Marluxia or any of the organization characters as they were introduced and think, like, okay, what normal outfit works for this person, right? Yeah. I mean, it's such a different art style as well, such a different mm -hmm. presentation with the, the chibi sort of look. Um, I gotta say, I, I didn't really notice until now, but, like, I love the vest, how it's very indicative the of the uh, of the Castle Oblivion yeah. cards and the Nobody symbol. Um, yeah. So that's pretty cool. I love that, actually. Yeah. Um, it's it's not like in your face either. Like it's not like, hey, remember he was the bad guy in Chain of Memories. It's like very subtle. Um, mm -hmm. so I'm, I like I'm pretty that. sure that when he's on the the specter, mm -hmm. I think or one of his final forms, I think he has a tattered robe as well. It's Ooh, longer. That's cool. So I think, yeah, I, I really like it. Um, <clears throat> this one's difficult. It it has enough flamboyance that I'm like, okay, this is more Kingdom Heartsy to me. Yeah. But it's it's hard against Ava, who oh, has a great palette and keyblade. The keyblade's great. It's almost not fair because like I guess if Lorium had his keyblade out, what does he have? Rumbling Rose? Divine Rose. Yeah, thank which God is one of my favorite Rose. one of my favorite keyblades. Yeah. Um, so if it was Rumbling Rose, difficult. it'd be an instant L. I hate that keyblade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you hate it too? Keyblade. Okay. Hate it. Hate it. See at least we're in agreement on that, that we both think that's ugly as fuck. Yeah. I, I hate the um <clears throat> the Sleeping Beauty keyblade too. Like what a fucking waste. Uh, what is that? Fairy stars? Fairy stars? Yeah. Ugh. You could have had. You could have had thorns. You could have. Had, you could have had a, a spinning wheel, a dragon. Yeah, going all in on the fairies is kind of a cop out. Oh, so ugly. So fucking ugly. Um, I'm gonna say Lorium for this one, just because we're gonna see a bunch of other foreteller robes, and I feel like I'm fine yeah, with this I think one falling. Yeah, but the best of. Bob. That's fair. Listen, this could be the first one that we put to a poll because let's put it to a poll. I'll be happy right. with whatever the people decide. Sure thing. Let's do it. Um, I don't have a huge stake in it, so I'm fine with whatever it goes. Who's got the better fit, Lorium or Ava? Ava, I feel like really is aided by the Keyblade. It's such a cool design. Mm -hmm. um, it's very like, like it's got like the water motif, which like ties you back to Kyrie a bit. Um, we don't really know what the relationship relationship is there, but like this, the the tip of it here is very like wavish. Um, but it's also given like kind of a ever after, like a tangled vibe to it. The big fox head in the middle, I could probably do without actually. I don't know if we need that a little bit much IMO, but I like it. You like it <clears throat> because it it ties together um, no name with all of the foretellers. Yeah. So. Um, but I feel like you can do that with just the eyeball. I feel like you don't need the fox head. No, you need the you need the fox head because the the Baphomet head, it's it's a whole thing. It's a yeah. whole thing. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> what do I know? All right, Alba wins pretty handily in the poll. So PJ wins the day there. Twelve over five. Bit of an upset. We oh, got sold. Speaking of beautiful dresses, Drew Barrymore's dress in Ever After, gorgeous. She put her in the bracket last minute. Ugh, I wish. <laughs> we got Scold versus Envy. Probably everyone's oh. least favorite foreteller versus everyone's favorite Union Cross PNG. So what do you think? One of the worst people I know loves yeah. Envy. So I don't love Envy. What are you talking about? No, not you. Oh, another a different one. Um Yeah. yeah honestly, like I kinda like Envy's robe better than Ava's. I like her oh, kind of brighter ribbon. It's so boring. Ribbon. What are you, you talking about? I, I like the bright ribbon and the and the crystals. I feel like work better for her than they do for Ava hanging off of the the top part there. Her keyblades way the, less the interesting. The colors are so much better with with Ava though. 
Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on the colors. I feel like they're both okay, fine. Okay, well, I like I like Skull's outfit better, so... Yeah, I think Maybe that's more fun. This one to a vote again. No, I'm not even saying. I just, I just like Envy's more than Ava's, but I feel like Skull's I mean, is more fun. There's a reason Envy why gets, she's everyone's favorite PNG. It's because of the outfit. It's not because of anything Envy she says. It's a lot of points for the the mask and how it's a little different, and she's got the wrap around her her face. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, even less of like, her face is visible. Huge points for that. Um, yeah. And her her keyblade's cool as shit. All the foretellers' keyblades are cool. Yeah. Um, but I, I I like Skull's little pop of collar. I'm I'm a slut for blunt bangs. Like I love that. <laughs> They're very blunt. They're the bluntest they can get. Yeah, I love them. And the little the little pink stars on her ears, um, you know, the, that could be a hint at the fact that she's subject X if she is. Yeah, she would go with Lee and Isa's sun and moon. Sun and moon. Ooh. Um, PJ, if that's what happens. So good, but dude. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I love that. We're going Scold. Fuck it. 4 over 13. Easy. Elrena versus Ased. Ooh, we're going to fight on this one. Are we? Yeah. Um, Honestly, though, looking at Ased, I feel like does every foreteller need the little dangly crystals? I feel like not everyone needs it. I don't know if it works Not for everybody him. needs the, the pull strings on the organization rub either, but they got them. Yeah. This is a uniform pat. This I is know. an RB. You're right. You have You're to right. show up to work in a uniform. <laughs> yeah. I um, mean, he's got the blandest robe, right? Like, it's just kind of like a tannish brown robe. Yeah, but, you know, I admire that he has a leg slit, too, just like the girls do. Yeah. And if you're dating, like, easy access, right? Like, he's absolutely <laughs> my type. But uh -huh. Arena, the outfit is so cute. It's so good for, like, he's a, got a like young a scene. denim jacket and shorts. I, know, I don't know. I, know. I don't think I like it. She's I got, like, love a, it. You like? I mean, she's, got, she's like a, got like an all the things she said. I'm stuck outside. It's raining. There's a fence. I might be a lesbian vibe. I love yeah. it. I love her swoopy bangs. And controversial opinion. Yeah. Some people disagree with this. Uh, Mel does not agree with this. Uh, but I fucking love the antenna. I love those antenna with Lark's. Oh, I think it's fun. I like. I them. love that. Otherwise, she's just a bitch with wet hair. Like I've yeah, seen that. There's like, so many of them. Fucking Rita Ora in Kingdom Hearts. It's no, literally just a. Uh, without the antenna, she's just Elena from uh, FF7. Yes, which so. might be part of why she looks the way she does, but yeah. whatever. Because you got the Reno and Axel synergy there. So like, we're trying not yes. to be too too referential. Um, but I don't know. I feel like the, like it's giving like denim jacket with shorts and boots and a, like, you know, the pixies from uh, it's, Fairly Odd Parents with a tie. That's what it's given. I'm in my 30s, so no. But that's this fair. outfit is all, that's all leather. That's not yeah. denim. It's not denim? No, there's no denim. I think it's, it's just the it's color that's throwing me off. Yeah. I don't know, like, I just feel like the, the aqua blue color for El Reyna is a weird pick to me. I feel like if it was what like... What are you talking about? Her her throwing knives are that color in yellow. Is it? Yes! But see, that's on me. That's on me for not knowing the... Uh... This is consistent character design. Okay. This is why you're here. Listen, if you want El Reyna... That I'm like I don't love the Asset outfit either, so I was already down on Asset when I first looked at it. So this is why straight people have to be stopped. And you know what? It's it's always the straight men that tell girls what to wear in school, and they don't have a clue about fashion. I'm not telling anybody what to Back wear. Back me up, chat. Not I'm not Zach, and not Zach because he agrees with that. But everyone else. <laughs> Listen, this is why I brought PJ because I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just I'm just talking speak about Speak on it. Speak on All it. Alright, El Reyna goes through. Listen, it's fine. Uh next up we got Neku versus Ira. Oh another... So explain to me the sort of anatomy of Neku's big turtleneck? What is that? I can't. I don't know if it's, I like it. It's it's Harajuku early aughts is okay. what this is. Um, it's crazy. It's a very specific time period. It absolutely matches with the other Twooey characters, and that's about it. Yeah. Um, listen, I that's think it's not a tampon hanging from his neck, by the way. Not a it's, tampon? it's a USB. Uh, or it could be an MP3 player. I'm not sure. You gotta be careful. You can't get those mixed up. Um, it's hard to store data on a tampon. Very difficult. I don't and know. I, I find that they soak things up pretty well. That's fair. Um, <laughs> you got Ira's robe here. 
Um, I is definitely the most, the most regal looking of the robes, which is fitting because sure. he's kind of the de facto leader of the foretellers. He's got like the gold yeah. accents. Can I ask um, you a question that's going sure. to psychically damage you and yeah. leave you wandering at night? Please do. Do you think? Do you think that the mane is his actual hair pulled through, or do you think it's part of the mask? <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh -huh. um, yeah, that is... I think it's part of the mask. Although, like, if too. it, if it but... is his hair, I wouldn't hate it. Because I could just... I'm, like, you know, trying to, like, remove the, the unicorn helmet and just see it as, like, coming out of his scalp. And it's not awful. It's goofy, but it's, like, not any more goofy than organization hair. Yeah. So, I think it's cool. Oh yeah, and what if, yeah. yeah, like uh, Sora RJQ says, what if he has a blue goatee underneath his little chin uh, guard? <laughs> oh, not, then he's hot. Then he's hot. <laughs> then I'm into it. Yeah. What that um, horn do? I don't mind the Neku design though. I think I, <laughs> I think his tampon <laughs> necklace and his headphones. There's there's some fun accessories there. I feel like the headphones are, are pretty cool. I, I kind of tend to like when headphones are included in the design. I like Yosuke and Persona Four. Um, well, it's it's based off of the uh, the the monkeys from um, Nico in in Japan. They hear no evil, see no evil, speak no mm. evil. Okay. That's why Rindo in the sequel has uh, the mask because it was it was before they, before they designed COVID. that before COVID. Yeah. So his is you know speak no evil, and if they ever did a third, the character's eyes would be obscured. Ooh, that's cool. Um. Um. Yeah, but it's it's yeah, it's more storytelling. It's it's good character design. It's yeah. it's high fashion. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm stuck on this one because I think that they both work really well for the. You want to put it to a poll? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Who's the better fit? We got Neku versus Ira. I feel like Neku is gonna win. I feel like nobody likes the foretellers. Mm. So that's just my I think guess. Neku's. I think his outfit in the second game is a lot better than this one. I didn't realize they got new outfits in the second game, so there you go. Well, it's it's several years later, so yeah. they've, they've grown up. Listen, not everybody gets a new outfit several years later. I'm looking at it's you, not nominate. spoilers, it's a sequel, and I no, didn't I explain what he looked like, so yeah. everyone can deal with it. Um, oh, actually, Ira is winning pretty handily. People don't like the Neku fit. I'm surprised. Color be shocked, but we'll move Ira along there. The 11 over the 6. Alright. More Twoby. We got Shiki versus Rhyme. My question is, how are Shiki's shorts even on her? How does that even work? I feel like she's her like drowning in so the shorts. Big. Is that what it is? I feel yeah. like there's too much um, too much short up around the hips. Like I feel like she's going to drown in the shorts. I don't know. I so think it's kind of goofy. you have shorter shorts? No, I'm saying I feel like they, sh they should like actually close in on her. <laughs> I feel like there's like too much space there. I feel like it's silly. Um, I think Ryan looks way cooler. The the satchel's kind of acting as a belt. Uh, yeah, that's true. There you go. A um, two for one I like Ryan's outfit too. I like it in the context that she she wants to dress like be. Her yeah, that's brother. very cute. And was it a bell on there? What she got on the necklace? She got a little bell. Yeah. Um, Is there every time a bell rings, an that? angel gets its wings. It's, oh. Yeah, it's cute. Gotta love that. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I love a good beanie, you know? Yeah, I love the skull. I love the color palette with this. I usually don't care much for orange, but I mm. really like it in this character design. Mm -hmm. um, and I love the shoes. Are these changed she, at all she from Tui? Like she fits. What? Yeah, she she totally fits in. But I'm asking, does this... Have they changed these designs at all from Tui? Or are they basically yeah. one for one? Yeah. They're, um, they're one for one. The only real difference is that they're... They're a little bit more stylistically Kingdom Heartsy in like their mm. face, yeah. and the color palette's a bit more saturated. Gotcha. But the proportions and the outfits themselves have not changed. I do like Mr. Mew. I like Shiki's uh, postman hat, as what I'm gonna call it. She's mm. got cool hair. Um, but I don't know. I do like the the integration with Rhyme wanting to dress like Beat there. I think that's really fun. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Have you played the original Tui? I played like two hours of Final Remix on Switch. Okay. Well, I, I doubt you'll ever get back to it. But Probably not. Sh Shiki's whole thing is that she's a fashion designer. Like, she Ooh. wants to, to get into that as well. That's tough um, because she... I'm leaning rhyme on this. <laughs> yeah, I know. But she does look like she's, you know, in in the high Harajuku scene. Yeah. Um, and that's it's also not even her body. So. Oh. Yeah. What does that mean? Is that spoilers? Um. I, probably, but the game is 
yeah. almost 20 years old at this point. So, yeah. like, cope. That's fair. Rhyme, then? Yeah, but okay. I don't feel good about it. That's fair. We got Strelexia so, versus Gula. Um... I'm willing to just give that to Strelitzia outright. I think Gula is potentially even more boring than a said in terms of the ro the robe. I like um, Gula's color palette. It's definitely more interesting than a said's. Um, I don't really get his Keyblade to be honest. Uh, do you get it? Like, why is it yeah, so? It's, Go ahead. It's it's lightning because leopards are fast. Oh, okay. I, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, that's the, not the first thing I think. Like, when you have characters that are so obviously, you know, uh, um, represented by, by lightning, like Yacht Lark scene, like, I feel like this would be a more fitting El Reyna Keyblade. Um, I'm not, like, I feel like Leopard to Fast, like, it makes sense. It's just not the first connection my brain's going to make. Well, I'm um, not sure if that's what they were trying to go for, but that's yeah. where my brain went. It just seems, um, like, as a character who's pretty you know, pretty reserved and a bit dull and a bit, you know, on the sidelines. I feel like such a eccentric, spiky Keyblade is a bit ill-fitting for him, but that's just me. But they, uh, here's the thing, they didn't fuck it up. Okay, let's mm. go, let's look at, let's look at Strelitz here okay. so that you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, her, her character, her sprite is, she's got 11 in her hair because yeah. of the, the, the hair break. Yeah. Um, but the Brits are, reversed if you look at them this way but in in union cross the sprites get flipped whenever they're facing other ways so she's right. actually facing the wrong way uh, okay <laughs> her, her cannon sprite is facing the left right i think or this... maybe i'm wrong and it just depends on how you're looking at it yeah um but either way it's there i'm i'm also pretty sure that she is she intentionally has the design that she has because of the specter nobody right right in from chain Kong. of memories yeah um even though nomura did not technically design her she he didn't design strelitzia or the uh no. specter strelitzia oh gotcha okay well that's a cool yeah, nod the, yeah the designers Ooh. had like essentially they made a bunch of strelitzia concepts mm -hmm. um and they put them in front of I guess Nomura, and then he combined the best or what he liked mm -hmm. and changed the palette. So this is what he came up with. I'm not crazy about this design, if I'm honest. Yeah, it looks a little like I don't know. I don't the chibi thing mixed with the Hatsune Miku mixed with like the scene girl thing. Yeah, giving me like Lolita vibes that I'm not cool with. But at mm -hmm. the same time, when we see her in four and she has a different outfit, like yeah. I, it's a lot cleaner. I like it. Um, it's cool. It's fine. I Someone would put in chat, her through. Yeah, I would put her through over Gula. Someone in chat said that the ribbons are supposed to look like the Strelitzia flower as well. Yeah, yeah, they, they look like birds of paradise. Yeah. So we'll advance Strelitzia there. Um, I think it's just a more exciting design overall. All right, now uh, we got Sora versus Sora. We're still on the left side. <laughs> but Din, 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 din is... God, yeah. Vodka, you put too many on this. Come on. Um... um let me see if I can find a good image of the Cage Force Strelitzia. Is Cage Force Strelitzia on this bracket? No. Oh, Cage Force Sora is. Um, that is taking forever. No, Vodka, this is a this is an insane amount of things to have on one thing. We're trying to give everyone their flowers, you know? We're trying to... I can't really get a good full body shot of Strelitzia anywhere. I, mean, I can get you, like, the chest up. It's okay. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We'll, uh, we'll move on to the Soras here. Um, we have Cage 3 Sora versus Wisdom Form Sora. God, you did the dry forms too, Vodka? Come <laughs> on! Um, this is tough. Uh, I do like the blue flames on Wisdom Form Sora. Um, but, you know, it's just a Cage 2 outfit, but but blue. I'm, aside I'm, from not, that. I'm not doing this. I'm not... I'm not entertaining dry forms so yeah that's not i i really like the cage three outfit it might be my favorite um i don't know i i do like the cage two one as well but i feel like this is a, a little less cumbersome looking i feel like this feels yep. more practical for sora it's, it's also very it's more simple i yeah i i love it i like yeah let's go with kingdom hearts three sora all right i'm good with that we'll put that one to bed quickly 
KH3 Hainer versus oh. Anti Aqua. Uh, hmm. Difficult because they're both mostly palette swaps. Yeah. Um, I do. I think the Anti Aqua is really cool. Um, I like how you can see I like some. It. You don't. You don't like it. I kind of like. <laughs> I hate it. I like. There's like a bit of like Vanitas in there, but like the hand. Um, yeah. I don't know. Like it's it's got consistent design. Like I'll I'll give it that, but yeah. I, I I don't know. Hainers isn't much better, but I think the colors work well together. Yeah, he's he's all in on the plat again, like all of his cage three comrades. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I, anti aqua is definitely cooler. Yeah, for but sure. In terms of design, I'm not sure. I'm not really a fan of either, to be honest. Put to a pull then. Let's go. Better fit. I don't hate either of them moving forward. I again, it's. It, I'm just along for the ride. You know, let's just. I think let's she's see supposed to look thing. like. I think she's supposed to look like a Darkling because Darklings are Keyblade builders that fall. Right, players. right. Yeah, I feel like I've I've heard that brought up before. Because I think Anti Aqua is a nothing burger. I think it's something oh, that Amor sure. came up with to make trailers more exciting. Yeah, It lasts in the game for five minutes. It has no real impact on the plot. And it's just shock value. I'm not a fan of it. No, it's I don't like it either. consistent with Aqua's character. You're telling me that she made it through the darkness for 12-ish years, and then one of one attack, Ansem's yeah. dark balls turned her into this? Yeah. That is a bit not weird. A like, if this was going to happen to her, it should have happened earlier on. Um, mm -hmm. To happen right before she gets rescued after enduring so much, like, I don't know. If she had, like, a connection with Ansem, then I could see that, but, like, she doesn't know this man. Like, it makes no sense that he has such power that she could, uh, fall to, to darkness so, so readily from his attack. Yeah, and but... then she didn't get Norded. If she had been one of the yeah. vessels, at least that would have been interesting for the plot, but it was yeah. literally nothing. It was nothing. I'm not a fan of that arc, but the chat is a fan of the outfit over Hainer. Sure, so go for it. We'll put that through. We have Isa from the Cage 3 ending versus Sora Final Form. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, do you like the Isa outfit? Because I do. Yeah. Because I I think it's a mix between his birth by sleep outfit and in the cloak the organization room. Yeah. Um, I also think that this picture is not doing it justice because no. it has <clears throat> it's got a lot of cool details on the side. It's got like blue camo which normally i think is kind of garish but for him it works maybe i can get i know i have for the xion cage 3 ending maybe this one looks mm -hmm. um you can see it more there on the I, left and here. i i hate i'm gonna be honest i don't like kingdom hearts 2 sora no and the drive forms are not my favorite thing but he's got a little pen he's got the little yeah. pen that's like the moon and i this is awful to me like this is like <laughs> it hurts my eyes i mean Listen, this game came out when I was in fourth grade, and if I if someone was like, "Hey, fourth grade Patty, design like a super cool form for Sora," I would draw this. <laughs> so like, yeah, but there's it that. Wasn't, it wasn't. It was not drawn by an eight year old Patty. Yeah, you're it was, right. It was created by a thirty five year old man. Yeah, you're right. So, <laughs> you're right. Um, Actually, no, I'm sorry. Twenty five. So twenty five. Yeah, I think so. Wait, who? Tetsuya Nomura. He was 25? Or maybe he was 35. Let God, there's no way. Yeah, in Cage 2. 20, I 35. He was okay. 35. My I was going to lose 35. my mind. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess Aiza then. Like, I... My child self is is really upset that we're not advancing Final Form Sora. But again, we're, uh, we've grown up. I don't like it. Well, look, yeah. you could argue with me. We can leave it to no, the No, I have no argument. Again, I, like, I don't have any points to make. That's the so, problem. It's so garish. Just All right. Like, Sorry, guys. So I guess that means that we have uh, Cage 3 Shion versus uh, Master Form. Um, I guess we're going to go Cage 3 Shion. Yeah. You don't yeah, think so? Bad. It's not as bad yeah. as the other dry forms. I think it works really well. My, my main problem with Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora's outfit, aside from the fact that it's really cluttered, yeah. is that it's mostly black, and I don't like mm. that. Um, yeah, I think a bit weird saturating Sora in color is cool. Uh, but I think that it was such a, a breath of fresh air to see Xion in an actual outfit. And yeah, it's that's cute. fun. It's a, it cute, a cute outfit. outfit. Yeah. Um, I, I can't not advance it. It's simple. It also calls back to the, the coat a bit with the black. Um, I guess the same thing with Lee's, which we'll get into soon. Yeah, um, I don't like that it's so similar to Kyrie's 
outfit, but mm. it is cute. So. Yeah. But I mean, it also makes sense that it's a bit similar to Kyrie's, you know, just from a character storytelling I, standpoint. Yeah, but I would have liked it better if she did her own thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I think by this point, I think if this outfit was introduced like earlier in the series, that would make more sense. Right. But now that we're like in the in the phase where everyone's kind of autonomous and their own their own thing, mm -hmm. um, you're right there. The only thing with I would with... put her. Go ahead. Sorry, I would have put her in baggy Sora clothes. That'd be fun, yeah, because yeah. she is more of a Sora. Um, she is. Than a, than a Kyrie. Um, the only thing with the uh, the new outfits for these three minus Roxas is that like they all feel like they're really calling back to the cloak more so than Roxas is, mm -hmm. because like Roxas kind of sticks out in this group, obviously because of the white contrasting against the black here. Yes. Um, but that's fine because Roxas is you know he's the light that's his element. Um, yeah, and his white outfit was also supposed to be in stark contrast to Sora's black one too. Right. Yeah, that's that's so. fair. Okay. Moving along, Cage 3 Kyrie versus Limit Form Sora. Hmm. I don't love um, the Cage 3 Kyrie outfit. I don't either. I think it's a vast improvement on Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie. I, I don't like that. that shade of pink at all. Yeah. I don't like the shade of pink. I don't like that plaid. Yeah. Um, I don't like her I mean, um, little ears on the hood either. <laughs> I think it's very childish. Um, she is a child. Though. I know she's a child, but like this is like out of. I feel like it's the most childish out of her outfits, and this is like the most senior that we've seen her. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of that. But I mean, it's it, it's not. It's not the worst outfit at all. At all. If um, says I'm wrong. This outfit's great. Shut up. <laughs> I don't hate it. Um. I wish it were a different color. Yeah. If that were my, if if I were only allowed to change one thing, I would have made it a different color. And it's going up against Limit Form Sora, which I really have no feelings on. I mean, I like it better than normal Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora because yeah. of the color. Um, also, real quick, Kyrie's yeah. boots, fucking ugly. Fucking ugly boots? You don't like these? They're fucking ugly boots. Look at them. Uh, yeah, look at those boots. They're they just, suck. They're just boots. Yeah. They're they're kind of clunky. They're just garbage. You know, they're, they're, Who needs they're them? Boots. They're also identical to Aerith's boots in uh, Remake. Oh, wow. Except they're, you know, black. Aerith's yeah. Boots, I think are more brown, but they're identical. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. What do you think then? Limit form Sora? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, I don't know. I like that it's obviously calling back to KH1. I think I, I would have been fine if this was his base outfit in two. I just don't know. Yeah. You want to do pull again? Yeah. All right. It, it seems like the chat really wants Kyrie, so maybe we shouldn't even bother. I mean, technically, Valderrami. Final Fantasy VII was first. Better <laughs> fit. Farther back. When it forms uh, but Sora. Eric's Kyrie speech didn't look like that, so fair enough. <clears throat> Let's see. What do the people want? Kyrie Cage Three is. And if we're talking about practicality slide. with the boots. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about real practicality. They yeah. never should have put that girl in a skirt if she's fighting in the Keyblade War. Yeah, that's a good point. Where are her leggings? Where are her... Yeah, give her some leggings. Just some shorts. Like, I don't care. But, like, yeah. come on. That's tough. Um, 22 votes to 4 votes <laughs> for Kyrie. So let's let's advance her. Right. We got Lee in the I cage. Like the yeah, I think the hair is fun there. I think it's better than it is in 2. Mm-hmm. Um, Valor form Sora versus uh, KH3 Lee in the ending there. I don't like I don't like doing the forms. I don't. Whatever. Yeah. I, I, the color is cool, but giving Lee a new outfit, I love it. You got the floor de lis on the uh, on the pants. Yeah, floor to leak my nuts. I don't care. Let's go back to Lee. <laughs> go back to Lee. You know what? I like the Lee outfit. I like I his. Too. I like his little hoodie sleeves up sort of situation. He's yeah. got the plaid. You can't tell here, but his leggings are, I think, leopard print. They might be cheap. Oh, that's print. fun. It's very, very subtle. All right. I should do it. Lee over Valor. KH3 Olette versus KH3 Pence. Ooh. Dog Street, baby. Colors. Dog Street for life. Um, um, I think Pence. Now, I like his little ascot. It reminds me of, like, a burger place. <laughs> That's my take. 
Okay. It reminds me no, of that's, Burger that's King. That's absolutely. Marketing. That's a Wetzel's pretzels right there. Oh, is it? It absolutely is. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's their that's their color. I mean, it's a little McDonald's. It's a little. Yeah. I get more Burger King than McDonald's from it, but yeah. Sure. Um. You're probably right because Burger King. Yeah. They they tend to lean more into like the 1970s aesthetic. What a, that's what that is. What pride flag is that on his shoes there? Do you know? Lesbian. Lesbian pride. Yeah. What is this Good for question? Pence. Um, Pence, but Pence is an overgrown child, is the thing. And I Pence like his headband. Like, yeah, it, it, Pence kind of looks like a lesbian mom. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like he's that's giving a, from soccer practice for sure. Yeah, he's giving Rosie O'Donnell a bit. Absolutely, <laughs> patootie. Yeah. Um, I hate Owets because I think those colors clash with her. Uh, I I like her 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 yellow and khaki look infinitely more than this this black and red thing yeah i think the pants are a bit much i'm gonna go with pence on this vodka says leave her alone we will we'll leave her alone back in the in the round of 128 yeah, pence she advances can stay from hearts three with her her voice actor that doesn't sound anything like mm. uh jessica de chico it's fine she's also the uh the uh member of avalanche in the uh ff7 dlc what's her name you know what i'm talking about Oh, I forget her name. Yeah, me too, but it's... Uh, a little glasses preppy prep. Yeah, same exact voice. Oh my god, why are they so small? I don't know. Uh, here is Dream Drop Sora versus KH4 Sora. I love Dream Drop Sora, but I love KH4 Sora. Yeah, KH4 Sora, probably, like, I mean, fittingly, since we're at Unreality, it's got to be, like, the most normal of the Sora it outfits, is. right? And he's got, like, he's got, like, Converse, which you don't see in this picture. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, here's a full picture of, of KH4 Strelitzia, by the way. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's her, it's her outfit, Forgot that I put that in, which yeah. Which is much cuter. Definitely um, less involved than uh, both of their prior counterparts. Mm -hmm. um, I like it. I like it Yeah, a lot. I think I lean towards KH4 Sora. The interesting thing is, I'm trying not to get too attached to KH4 yeah. Sora because I feel like that design's probably not final. Yeah, it it feels like a bit plain, but again, like it makes sense that it would be. It's not a bad design just because it's a bit more on the plain side. But I feel like, you know, for that to be the final outfit that we're seeing him in for the whole game, it does feel a bit under designed for Sora yeah. for Sora standards. I don't think Sora's staying in this outfit. I think I yeah. think that this game is going to be so much more detailed that he's probably going to change the way he looks in every world. Yeah, I could see that. And I think the wardrobe is coming back. I think this is the exact kind of game where you can pick mm. what you want. Yeah, because they sort of sidestepped that for three after 0 0.2, but I could see it coming back for this. A lot more customization. Mm -hmm. I don't hate the dream job design for the record. Um... Although, I don't know, I, I would still prefer the KH1 outfit over the Dream Drop one. Sure. But I think I'm going to go with KH4 for now. I think it's cute, but yeah, yeah KH4 for sure. Alrighty. We finally move over to the other side. <laughs> Jesus, vodka. We got KH2 Sora versus Rai. Uh, Rai's got the 8 on his pants for Final Fantasy VIII. Yep. He's got a little lightning necklace. I know people who dressed like that in 2006. Absolutely. Yeah. This yeah, is a real seems, outfit. That seems right, yeah. And honestly, <laughs> yeah, I'd hit that for sure. <laughs> Over, uh, just as a design or just like as as someone wearing the, the Rye fit? As like a himbo with the Rye fit, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Now, granted, I'm, I'm assuming that he's still older, like 1920-ish. Right. Yeah. So me in my 30s actually probably wouldn't. Right. But at the time, at the yeah, time. absolutely. Yeah. 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 And then we have uh, Cage 2 Sora, which you've said no. is uh, a bit cluttered of a design. Fan. Not a fan. Look at it! Yeah, I mean, he got, he's just very bulky, you know? Um, I feel like someone that's running around doing as much as Sora's doing, like, I feel like we need to we need to trim off some of the fat here on the uh, the, you know, the buckles and the pouches. I wonder if, if Sora, like, I wonder if this intentionally borrows from Riku's KH1 design, mm. because Sora's trying to emulate, emulate him. him yeah but i don't know i hmm. are we advancing yeah. rai though you know <laughs> i think maybe we are listen i'm fine but with I, it. I, I think the cage two sword look is i mean it's a staple it is clearly identifiable mm -hmm. uh seems like you're leading rai though i am and i think the poll would do 
cry as well. I kind of want to put it to a poll to see what they'd say. To yeah, be let's honest. just let's just see how it goes. Let's just see it. Better fit. Rye or Cage Two Sora. I think I gotta refresh my music here. Do we run out? Oh yeah, I'm still watching. There we go. Um, let's see. Cage Two Sora is winning. That's okay. Do you want to advance that? I mean, we we're both kind of leaning towards Rye. It's still let, let them cook. It's fine. Let them cook. All right, we'll put Cage Two Sora through. I'm fine with it. I don't hate it. It's just my least I favorite. I don't know. Rye's starting to shoot up now. Yeah, thirteen to eighteen um, now. And and never mind. <laughs> never mind. Yeah. All right, Cage Two Selfie, which is the schoolgirl outfit, versus uh, Cage Two Hainer. Uh. Again, all the things she said, I'm... It's... Whatever. Get rid of Selfie. That's not an actual outfit. Like, that's not an actual character design. That's that's her in school. Yeah. But I it's don't simple. know. It's simple. It's dumb. It's whatever. Hainer's is, is very indicative of his character. Why like, the camo, you... though? Because I feel like Hainer... people wore back then. No, I know, but like I feel like Hainer is so so boisterous and so loud. Doesn't doesn't camouflage imply like a, like a hidden depth I feel like Hainer is it, what you see is what you get with Hainer. Oh, you're being you're you're being really deep. Yeah. Um, is that I, not? I don't think it's that deep. It's with, not that deep. Hainer. Right, I think I think on. it's I think it's just he's he likes streetwear. Yeah. Um, but also I would argue that he actually is a lot more complicated because he gets really moody in Kingdom Hearts Two and doesn't tell anybody what his issues are until. That's true, but that's Data Hainer. He's a different guy. Anson programmed him to be angsty. You know, but then they they take on a mind of their own. The day right. that people do. So You're I don't right. Know. Don't know, but I like as an outfit and as character design. I I still think I I know this guy by just yeah. looking at his clothes. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like um, if Selfie had her Moogle backpack purse thing, mm -hmm. that'd be uh, that'd be big ups for her. But oh, mm -hmm. I'm fine with advancing Hainer there. He's got the what is that? An X necklace there. I guess. You know, there was a world in which I thought maybe Hainer would be one of the 13 vessels. Because oh, that. man. That's so sad. Like, that would have been crazy. Yeah. God. More satisfying than anti-Aqua, for sure. Or Dark Riku. All right, Hainer goes through. Back to the Battle of Olette and Pence this time for KH2. KH2 Olette versus KH2 Pence. This time I like KH2 Olette better, but not by much. Yeah, I mean, you said that you're not huge on the orange. Um, I feel like cage characters really, in general. It works for her though. Yeah, like she she's got like you know my my cream sickle sister. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't hate the pens design though. No, no, it's not bad at all. I, yeah. I think that like if I were ever to cosplay as anybody, it would be Kingdom Hearts two pens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I think that. I think that outfit looks very comfortable. And, you know, your boy be thick, and I've got that curly <laughs> hair, and I think it would yeah. be good. Yeah, um, that'd be fun. Yeah, it'd be cute. Oh, my gosh. You, me, and regular GF should go as Hater <laughs> Pence in <laughs> uh, Yeah, You know what? She could probably pull off an Olet. She yeah. absolutely could. Yeah. The hair might be tough. Like, I don't know about Olet's cage to hair here. We'll um, get a wig. Yeah, it'd have to be a All wig. All three of us will have to wear wigs, and it's fine. Yeah, that's that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I could see that. That'd be very fun. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 giving selfie, but it's like not as obnoxious. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So, Cage 2 Olet. We got Cage 2 Riku versus Setzer. Um the thing about Oof. Setzer is that my eyes are so drawn to the cape that I'm hardly looking at anything else. Like the cape no, is put really it away. Put, put it, it away. away. Put it away. No, no. Cage 2 Riku. For yeah. Sure. No, I'm not saying that was a good thing. I'm just like, I feel like the cape uh -huh. is, is such a distraction from the rest. Because I feel like he, he has a cool fit other than that, but the cape is so eye-catching that it really yeah, overpowers it's, everything. It's such a part of his design from the original game. Right, and that's that fair. They couldn't get rid of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think Riku. I don't even know. Who, who made this a poll? We all know that Riku's going to win. Yeah, no, I, I was always going to vote for Riku on this one. Riku looks like feral in this. I think it's just like the hunch and the limp and maybe like the the wrist thing, but he looks like... It's not a cast, you guys. It's it's an <laughs> arm warmer, for yeah. fuck's sake. He's cold. I've been arguing that this thing is not a cast for yeah. almost 10 years. 20 years, sorry, for almost 20 years. It's not a cast. It's but like, not a cast. It would be kind of cool if it was, though, right? 
I guess. I mean, it'd be cool if, like, oh, he sustained an injury from the Roxas fight. Like, everyone always yeah, throws but, that out. Yeah, but he blocked with the other wrist in the Roxas no, fight. No, you're right. You're right. Like, in terms of, like, matching it up with what canonically happened, no, it doesn't make sense. But it would be cool. But it's uh, not that. When you break your hand, you don't keep it in your pocket, Umis Orbit. <laughs> but is it kind of weird to have one wrist warmer and not both? No. No? Just one particularly they, they cold do wrist? They symmetrical shit like that all the time. No, Besides, he's probably holding his pants up with his thumb, if I'm being oh, you're honest. Because right. the belt's yeah. not doing the trick. Yeah. Is he stupid? Like, should he just tighten the belt? Like, put the... <laughs> he's obviously he... stupid. <laughs> like, yeah. just... that You can see that there's extra belt holes there that he could he could move the belt a bit. No, because he's... He'd be sagging. It's, yeah. It was 2005. But also, right. like, the, the little bit of the gay belly button, the little bit of the popped collar. Like, yeah. It's a good book. It's cool. All right. Cage to Riku. Easy peasy. Next up, Cage to Kairi versus Cypher. Oof. Um... Cypher showing a lot of belly. <laughs> um, what do you think? Cypher's also got like the cape cloak thing going on. What's the kanji on his hat mean? Do you know? I feel like I, I have no I, idea. I feel like I referenced this in a video. You discuss Kairi while I look up my script and see if I can find out what the kanji says. Sure. The thing about Kairi and and Nominee has this problem in Kingdom Hearts too as well. Their proportions don't make any sense. Right. Like the way that their legs are, the way that their like ribs are, mm. like that that is not a human body with organs inside of it. Like, that doesn't make <laughs> yeah. any sense. Um, I hate that they gave her panties. That was awful. Right. I don't know what creepy Japanese man thought of that, but <laughs> fired. Uh. Um but other than that, like this is this one's a little weird. It's like a corset with zippers. Um, it's not my favorite outfit. <clears throat> I like the color. I will say that. I like the shade of pink. Um, yeah, in the original release of Kingdom Hearts 2, Kyrie has uh, panties with a little ribbon on it, and if you look at her from certain angles, you see them, and they patched it out. Uh, and, well, they got rid of it in other releases, but yeah. Right. Yeah, perverted crap. I like the shoes, I like the converse with the zip-ups. I I like her little purse that you can't see that well, her little side mm -hmm. satchel. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the, like the, the silhouette, it's weird. This does not look like it's an extension of Kingdom Hearts 1, Kairi. Like, this doesn't look like the same character. Her hair yeah, is different. I her agree. Outfit, her palette, like... And I think there's merit to that, because when people saw, uh, you know, we call her Cryptid Kairi in the uh, secret ending, KH1, mm -hmm. um, everyone's like, that's a different person, because she looks so... Like, obviously, that's a different outfit and model as well, but, like, I feel like from the jump, they were, like, prepared to make this character look so markedly different, and it is hard to see, like, the evolution from 1 to 2 here. Yeah, I think Kingdom Hearts 3 Kairi looks more like... KH1, Kyrie. yeah, I agree. Yeah, than Kingdom Hearts 2 Kairi does. Um, um, I, I hate her hair. I hate the way that it's animated in the game. Like it's got that weird, like it's stuck to her face look, and it's yeah, it's not that's quite long. That's it's a great not way to put short. it. Yeah, her head has like a weird cone shape to it. I'm not a fan. Yeah, um, I wanted to say, and Barty kind of beat me to this, but the kanji on the hat is for Orde, which is according to my script, to my understanding, a sort of masculine and maybe braggadocious way of referring to oneself. So it fits uh, for fits for him for sure. Um, yeah, I, I we, like it. I, I like his outfit. I, yeah. I like it more than Kyrie. I hate doing that to Kyrie because she's a main character and that outfit is yeah. you know, a big deal. Yeah. Um. um Kate Shu Kyrie's hair is the best her hair has ever been. Do you remember what it looked like in game? Yeah, in game it does look like like a uh, bedhead to me. Like she just slept it's bad. wrong. Yeah. It's bad. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like Cypher. I like his outfit. He's given Pokemon Coliseum, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that means anything mm -hmm. to anybody, but it is. Um, I'm fine with advancing Cypher there. Do you want to do it? You want to make everyone yeah. mad? All right. Yeah, sorry. You just can't show me those hips and, like, have me not be like, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's out. It's gone. It's over. All right. Cage two Tifa versus we're gonna get into the uh, the goal wings here mm. versus this is specifically versus Riku, so this is like the Advent Children remix on the Tifa outfit, right? Yes, it's it's straight up Advent Children. There are okay. no didn't even really differences it. in this I haven't seen it. between this and Advent Children. Okay. Um, 
Riku gets points for having an altered version for, for Kingdom Hearts 2. She absolutely does. Um, I like Tifa's outfit better overall. Yeah. But I think that Riku's is really cool with what they did with making her like a little pixie. Like a little fairy, yeah. Um, so I'm torn. I love Tifa. I love this look. Me too. I loved, I, I, but, you know, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, I'm a little underwhelmed by the Advent Children outfits. Like, I know that they're probably sleeker and more practical, maybe, but mm -hmm. they're just kind of, they're, they don't really stick out in my memory. Like, you know, I can more easily conjure up what FF10-2 or KH2 Riku looks like than mm -hmm. KH2 Tifa. Um, I feel like, you know, base FF7 Tifa's outfit is so iconic and so recognizable mm -hmm. um, that if it, if it was up against this one, it would it would go through no contest. I kind of lean towards Riku here. Um, it's hard for me. She gives me, like, cosplaying as a banana sort of vibes. And that's that goes for both this and her FF10-2 appearance. Like, it's very goofy. She looks ridiculous, yeah. for sure. But, but, she is, but she's a silly girl, yeah. And um, these three look like they belong in a world with Disney characters. Absolutely, yeah. They they definitely do a better job at, at you know blending in. And I don't know if you need mm -hmm. to do a, a good job blending in. Like I don't know if that mm -hmm. is the mission statement, but you're right that they do feel like a more natural part of the KH yeah. environment. And I love that Nomura turns them into something inhuman. Like I I know that people are mad that they're not their normal human selves, but they're not their normal right. selves. Kingdom Hearts is an alternate universe, mm -hmm. and it's full of magical mm -hmm. creatures like pixies, and you know I like that. Yeah. Um, and they don't take up too much of the screen, which is the whole reason why I know where I made them small. Yeah. Um, well, so yeah, but I, I was like leaning Tifa's Riku better. <laughs> That's fair. You want to go with Tifa because the chat says Tifa. Yeah. If it were Tifa against Yuna and Pain, I think that would be even harder. But yeah. because I don't really like Riku's outfit that much, That's like fair. I respect her outfit more. Yeah. Absolutely. But as a piece of fashion, I like Tifa's. And someone was saying they don't like the front pocket. I actually like it because it's calling back to the fact that she owns a bar. Like, that's that's uh, uh, yeah. like a fancy waitress apron. Yeah, that's true. God, I, PJ, honestly, I'm not just saying this to blow smoke. You're, you're like, really giving us a lot of uh, details that I've not picked up on. I know that's Thanks. not surprising, but it's, uh, it's cool. For. All right, we, don't, we only need uh, one image for this because it's Payne versus Yuna. Mm -hmm. Um... I tend to go towards Yuna. I, I think I her, her cage or uh, her FF10-2 design is a lot more... I mean, obviously it makes sense that her her uh, FF10 original design is a bit more reserved, a bit more traditional. But this mm -hmm. is such a fun remix on that. Like, it keeps to that, but it also, like, shows that she's, you know, broken out of the cult. She's, like, uh, you know, doing doing adventures, shooting people with guns now. Yeah, she's no, a different she's woman. She's got her heterochromia. I also yeah. like that they... You can't see it here... But they changed uh, Titus' symbol on her chest into just like a a, a circular pattern. Oh, um, for Cage specifically? They, yeah, because they haven't met. Right, and yeah, so... that makes sense. She's like completely divorced of the FF10 storyline in this, so mm -hmm. um, she's just a... Um, uh, they really... Uh, how do you feel about the Pixies in Cage 2 Like, I feel like I kind of... Them. I mean, I, I'm fine with it. I just feel like... I don't know if it really went to the place that I needed it to go to justify its existence. Like... They're just like Maleficent's um, goons, but like it's very, you know, I don't know. It's so tangential to everything. Well, if you if ever I... got over yourself and picked up the manga, yeah, um, it's it's very cute in that, like their okay. relationship with Pete and Maleficent. Mm. Um, they explore that a lot, and it's a lot of fun. Um, but I I like it. I I think that for the most part, Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts Two was one hundred percent fan service. It yeah. all was. None, yeah. Almost none of that needed to be there. You're right. Um, and I think that Nomura knew that, and that's part of the reason why he thinned it out a lot going forward. Yeah. But I also think it's just a fun time to see these characters in oh, a different yeah. context. Absolutely. So I'm fine with it. I mean, even if I weren't, it happened. There's not yeah. much I could do about it. Yeah. Um, they could have um, been better integrated, but whatever. Yeah. Well, we're going to say Yuna for this one? Yep. I don't hate the paint design either. I like her wings. I like the the goth aesthetic, it's different I, for Cage. Yeah. I think but... that they did the the least with pain compared yeah. to her normal self. Right. So, yeah. All right, we got Roxas Cage two versus Fu. Mm, I really like. Yeah, I like Roxas a lot. I think his design is really cool. Um, I love his checkerboard motif. Um, he also just has like I could wear that. You know, mm -hmm. I think I could pull that off. 
out of all the designs. Not that that really factors into the decision too much, but I feel like I of also, the of the outfits, I can make it work. I like Fu. Don't get me wrong. I mm -hmm. like her. I like what they did. I think it's really funny that they got rid of her eye patch and just gave her big hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Is she the only character with red eyes in the series? No. Who else? Tifa. Oh. We just looked at her, too. Let me pull her up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where is she? And yeah. Kane also has red eyes. Like, literally the last two characters yeah, that we yeah. saw. Yeah, yeah. You good, you good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Pains, Pains and Foos are definitely uh, deeper reds there. I feel like Tifa's is a bit more muted. But yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, hers aren't like blood red. They're yeah. they're they pass almost as like a mahogany. Yeah, uh, I think in in remake and rebirth, they're closer to brown. But yeah, yeah. Okay, you can really see the swirls in Riku there. I'm glad that they kept that. You yes. couldn't really tell until you uh, zoomed in there, but yeah, they were really cool. they were really uh, uh paying attention to the detail there with the albed swirls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, you know Yuna still has her heterochromia. Yeah, that's awesome. So. All right, but Roxas, that's a pretty easy W for Roxas. That's a 2 over 15. Yeah, it's cute. It's, uh, let's, let's go. Very different characters here. We got Pete versus Prince Philip. Listen, <laughs> I love Philip. Yeah, I, really. In my short list of Disney princes, yeah. like, he could wake me up anytime. But <laughs> really? Pete, yeah, 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 for sure. Pete's outfit, though, is... is fantastic i love it it's this big ridiculous thing that just works for him it does is pg just alternate vodka what the fuck i don't think so what the fuck dog no alternate vodka sounds like this she goes red rum she scrunches her finger i mean if you mean like anti-vodka sure yeah the anti-vodka absolutely yeah, water <laughs> it's just water yeah <laughs> got water 720 uh, 480 um you have the same fucking opinions. I surely don't. I, I don't care about Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go pee on this? Oh, for sure. For yeah, sure. I'm good on that. I That's love a the 16 big zipper. One. I love the big buttons. I love the big shoulders. Yeah. Um, where's it's Mickey? an outfit for an oaf. Um, is Mickey in here, Vodka? I don't know. Mickey has some of the best outfits, so that's going to be difficult. We'll see if he shows up. We got the Battle of the Jacks here. It's a something of a jack-off. We have Jack Sparrow versus Jack Skellington. I think you gotta go Jack Sparrow, right? I don't think I don't think Vodka put Mickey in here. Hmm. I don't. It seems like she didn't. Chain of Memories Mickey is probably the best outfit. He would have won this if he was in there. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, at, at the end um, of the day, it comes down to whatever PJ's favorite outfit is. That's what wins this bracket. So. Oh my God, Vodka. Is Mickey not You've just been Sora? in every fucking drive for him, but you won't put in Mickey Mouse? That is a bit of an oversight, I must say, but what can you That's do? That's the dumbest thing. I've, yeah. I, no, we, we clearly don't have the same opinions. So let's get back to Jack and off here. We have Jack Sparrow versus Jack Skellington. You got the pinstripe versus the uh, the swashbuckler outfit. I mean, I, I just think the Jack Sparrow outfit's so iconic. Sure. Um, um, I think you're wrong, though. I like Jack Skellington better. I don't dislike Jack Skellington. I just feel like it's... It's a no, bit plain. It's better. it's better. You think? Yeah. It's Let's... supposed to be monochromatic. No, I get that. I get that. I just feel like I don't even think of it as an outfit. I think of it as just like, it's so skin tight that I feel like it's just part of him. But I get it. Are he's you, a skeleton. Like, are you bone shaming Jack skeleton? I'm not trying to bone shame. Listen, he's the bone daddy. I love him to death. Let's vote. Let's vote on the Jacks. All right. All right. I mean, I think I may be biased because I dressed up as Jack Sparrow for Halloween when I was like 11. You know what? If 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 there are more Sora drive forms, by the way, we're replacing them with Mickey. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm I think we've gone through that. them all already. I think all the Soras were on the left side. Fine, but if I see something stupid, I'm gonna change it with. Mickey. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. You know what? Vaka accidentally put Prince Charming on here twice, and I DM'd her, and I said, should I, should I just switch one of these to like Prince Eric? And so we can we can sub Eric out for a Mickey outfit. Honestly, PJ, if you don't like any of the of the outfits, we can just sub them out for something else. That's well, no, I think that goes against the spirit of it. But okay. I, I do think it's really strange that Mickey's not in here. I think she just forgot, and that's okay. Um, very close between Jack Sparrow and Jack Skellington. It's actually a 50-50 right now, thirteen votes apiece. So, oof. Listen, I love I love Jack Skellington. I think he's more fun as a character. 
Um, so I, I would. I, I, oh, someone just voted for Jack. Oh, Skeleton. oh now we're oh, tied. And again. <laughs> someone else voted for Jack Sparrow. Yeah, but like, I, I really don't want to put Johnny Depp any further through, if I'm being honest. Okay, fair enough. I'm not looking at the man. I'm looking at the clothing. Yeah, um, but it's all part of the same thing. Well, it was a dead tie, so. Listen, I don't, I don't hate the Jack Skellington uh, pinstripe suit. I think it's, it's really befitting of his, of his role as the Pumpkin King. I like his little flared-out things on his neck. He and gives it's Count a very Olaf silhouette. Like if you put yeah. Jack and Jack next to each other, you'll be able to tell which one's that's true. And I mean, you're right. At the end of the day, like Jack Sparrow pirate. is just a pirate, but. Yeah. I don't know. There's something about the Jack Sparrow fit that I really admire. It's we'll a go... great outfit. It yeah. is. But I think that Jack Skellington is a better design. That's fair. Okay. Next up, we got Kristoff versus Aladdin. Ooh, I like Kristoff's outfit, but Aladdin is a better designed character. I was going to say, I think Kristoff is a bit generic. Like, I'm not going to be able to conjure up. Like, if I'm, and I'm not an artist, but if you're like, draw Kristoff or draw Aladdin, I know where to start with Aladdin. I'm like, Kristoff, uh, a coat, like a jacket mm -hmm. type thing. Like, I don't know well, what to do. Kristoff is also, I mean, I, this shouldn't count against him. Mm -hmm. He's just the rejected design for Flynn Rider. Is that true? Yeah, they had, they the original Flynn Rider design looked exactly like Kristoff, and then they went with the, the other one that they have now yeah and they they just reused that design for Kristoff. oh wow look at that he's got little pointy elf shoes i like that i like his I mean, mittens that's, that's indicative of their culture yeah, yeah it makes sense sorry not to but not Aladdin's, to say that all Aladdin's people that better. live in uh, denmark or wherever have elf shoes or maybe they do i don't know is that where yeah. frozen set denmark uh is it or i think is it... it's just like generically like somewhere north in europe norway. yeah norway okay fair enough um no it's but aladdin, I aladdin better. i'd rather have a beer with Kristoff. i think aladdin would drive me up a fucking wall but that's not what we're talking about it doesn't matter both of their I don't like their beer actors either. at disneyland to probably make out with each other you think so oh, think for, sure, for sure all the disney are, princes at disneyland are gay do you think is Kristoff and Aladdin, are they both, like, out there in the rotation at the same time? I guess so, right? Because Aladdin's uh, big and Frozen's big. I actually don't think that there's a face character for Kristoff right now. That's kind of crazy, because Frozen's so big. But, like, I don't think anyone's favorite Frozen character is Kristoff, so... Mm. I know Looking that Aladdin and Flynn used to get hot and heavy in the cast room. Really? Yep. Is it in California or, fr or Florida? California. Florida Florida yeah. is... We don't talk about Florida. Oh, that makes sense. All right. Woody versus Prince Charming. Fuck Prince Charming. Who cares? Right? Oh, but his outfit is so well designed. It's fine. I like his little shoulder curtains. Yeah, but... with his hair. He's very charming. Yeah, I guess. But Woody's outfit's better. Yeah, absolutely. What a cool man. I like that he has the holster, but no gun. He doesn't need a gun. What is no, he doing? he's got his fingers. Pew, yeah. Pew. Pew, pew, pew. All right. He's got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. It's Woody. Yeah. And I here I love this about the character design for Woody. Yeah. Just you know, he he has Andy written on his feet. Mm -hmm. But moreover, for Kingdom Hearts three, if you look at Woody, you don't even need to let the story tell you when this takes place in the in the Toy Story timeline. Yeah. Because his one of his shoulders has stitching on it from where it got tore in Toy Story Ooh, two. Ooh, you're right. And I I love that attention. To, yeah. To detail. I always forget like, about that. He was yeah, in my wounded. interview with Tasha Sonart, which you can listen to now on YouTube mm -hmm. from like six years ago or whenever, yep. uh, we go over that. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I love that. Oh, you know the scene where uh, Al fixes him up? Or not Al, but the old guy from uh, the Jerry's old guy game. The the other short, yeah. Oh, I love that. I know everyone loves it's it, good. but God, it's so, it's so satisfying. There is something really good about it. We should, You know what we should do in Requiem? Yeah. Mm. Instead Watch of those shorts. paints. Yeah, no, no, no. We should watch... <laughs> Toy restoring videos. Ooh, yeah. Like David has that I thing where he exist. watches the paintings. Yeah, I bet there's something that's yeah. like really tapping into the uh, yeah, 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 the yeah, toy yeah. restoring. <laughs> All right, we got Battle of the Flins here. Father versus son. We got Kevin versus Sam. Uh, I think Kevin because I like hmm. his robes. Yeah. Um, Sam's I hot. Mean, don't get me wrong, but sure. I, I, I think that Kevin's outfits are more iconic. I feel like Sam's is more indicative of it being a Tron outfit, though, right? Like, oh I feel my God. like with I'm, Kevin. I'm literally, as I'm talking, they yeah. are saying the same thing. 
Sam's hot. I love his robe. I said yeah. they, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I kind of err towards Sam on this. I do like the, the kind of modernized, uh, look for the Tron outfit. I feel like the yeah. robe a bit played out. Like we see that. No, 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 no. But what's cool about the robe, honey, yeah. Yeah. is that it glows from the inside. That's true. You like, got like this angelic yeah. glow coming from his nether region. Yeah, the glow is coming from inside the house, babe. Like look yeah. at the short, like it's all the lining is all glowing. I That's love it. true. It is kind of like a an inverse of the usual the power Tron move. Tire. Yeah, throw away. Let's let's. Okay, yeah. you've convinced me. That's neat. It's different. Um, let's do it. Let's go, Kevin. Father beats son there. Okay, so do you want me to sub out Prince Eric for Mickey? I like Prince Eric, though. I think I would rather have the prince from Snow White get the boot, because I All think right. his design's boring. Let's take a look at both of them. Because, yeah. like, you like Prince, like, Prince Eric's design, I feel like, is doing less than the prince. Yeah, but the prince's design is really hokey. Like, it's, it's, yeah. just, it's just male Snow White. Eric yeah. is very unique. It's very open chest. It's very 80s leading man. Mm. And, you know, I don't think there's anything unique about the prince. Um, what about his little dagger? His little dagger holder. That's neat. You don't like that? Got cape? Like a big, no. <laughs> no. No, I don't. All right, so you want to sub out Prince Snow White Prince for a Mickey design? I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm going to put Mickey through. <laughs> Right, that's the thing. I mean, should we just accept that there's no Mickey in the bracket? Yeah. Because I think, you because know what? Because Baka knew that he was too powerful. I really do think that Mickey's Chain of Memories outfit is probably one of the best ones in the series. Let's just pull I it love... up to look at it. Let's at least see it, right? Yeah, let's just look at it. All right, let me I pull love it up. The big, I love the big buttons. It's so... It's the best outfit it for is Mickey. Really... It's better than his atrocious Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit. Yeah... That is really it's so fun. Cute. It's it is so cute. cute. It looks really it, good. It's really clean. It's, it's, it's a good power up of his classic look. Yeah. But it's Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Oh, it's good. I love it. Yeah, it would have it would have swept. So that's why it's not it in absolutely there. Absolutely would have. So, it's not. First of all, vodka. You you have to stop with the is blank not just blank when there are several characters in the series who intentionally look identical. <laughs> you got to cut that shit out. <laughs> but Sora's outfit was made to to be you know to it was inspired by mickey mm -hmm. but yeah i mean mickey's got so lots true. of other fits where the fuck did i put my phone anyway who cares no I one is it. talking to you um i'm just making sure no regular gf is everybody you love is right here that almost you're it's close <laughs> you're almost correct we got prince eric versus the prince i mean i get what you're saying about eric Hold on, pause. Yeah. Vodka, if you don't want me answering, you shouldn't ask the question. How about that? Uh oh. Okay. My, my best pause. friends are fighting. Um, Ew. I'm going the prince. I know you're saying he's just Snow White, but no, I like, like Eric. It's just the like white Eric. shirt, little little jeans. Oh my Not god, jeans, I'd pull but... Eric out of the ocean anytime. That's fair. I mean, let's go for a vote. I'm gonna be so mad if if uh, the prince doesn't go through. Better fit, okay. better fit the prince or Eric. Stop arguing. We're supposed to be having fun. Yeah, arguing is my way of having fun. That's true. That's like PJ's favorite pastime. Let's see. What do you think, chat? Oh, chat loves Eric. All right. I I think I'm just really I'm swooning over his little the little dagger holder. I think it's so it's so neat. I know you like a tiny dagger, but we're looking <laughs> at Eric right now. And look at his chest. Look at, look at his, his chest. Hair. It's look so good. His, look at his bulge. <laughs> All right. I like the implication that PJ would only save a person from drowning if they're hot. I mean, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right. Eric moves through. Okay, we got Shang versus... I don't know why Vodka specified BBS Hercules. Because he's a not, kid. Yeah, but like, why not KH1 Hercules? I um, don't know. You gotta go Shang here, right? I mean, this I is I think just... she wants Shang to win. That's why she did it. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm a fan of Shang's bold red cape. Even yeah, though it's I battle impractical. Yeah, I love um, him. I love his gay voice actor. I love his <laughs> his his bi panic. It's good. I love I love Shang. But the outfit's really cute. Yeah. 
yeah, this is just this is just a robe and sandals. Who cares? Moving on with Shang. All right, Flynn Rider versus Clayton. <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but Clayton. Really? I was gonna say Flynn. Uh, I don't know. I I think. Why would you wear a bright? I guess actually, if you are like going out hunting, you would want to wear bright colors, like a like a yellowy mustard shirt. I I like. I think it's just a better put together outfit, like the yeah. pants, the way that the like the the um the spats go over the shoes, the mm. the little the the kerchief in over mm. his neck, and the, the the wristbands and. The slick back hair, like he's giving very much like you know rich sugar daddy, and yeah. then Flynn is like Flynn was literally designed by women in a lab. Like oh. the artists went around and said, "Who do you think is hot?" And they took traits from every hot person uh. that they said, um, and as a result, like they just they just made a fuck boy. Um, the best is cute. The pants are fine. The yeah. boots are fine. The satchel's fine. The swoopy hairs, whatever. I hate the chin beard. Yeah, um, that's a little rough. That's like me before I could grow a full beard, and I uh, kind of rocked the chin strap for a bit. It's not I, a good I look. Don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. Third way. They're both hot. They're both hot as fuck. It's true. Yeah, I also agree with Hotter Michi. Clayton's look in the movie. KH1 doesn't do it justice. But it's, I mean, it's supposed to be that look, so mm. I'm, I'm keeping that in mind as well. Listen, I'm not going to be mad at advancing Clayton. A 15 over 2, we love an upset. Let's Look at the do little it. Mustache. Yeah, very of the time, very uh mm -hmm. very fashion aware. I like it. Yeah. Okay. All right, BBS Aqua, the one seed versus BBS Xehanort. Ooh, Aqua. Yeah, for sure. Aqua's design is probably one of like the quintessential cage designs. Um, for sure. It's really good. Yeah, we don't even need to talk about it anymore. Yeah, no. Xehanor, you know, uh, a bit of a, a callback or a call forward, however you want to look at it, to the Ansem coat, but mm -hmm. we already discussed that. We like the Ansem coat better on Ansem. Yeah. It is interesting, though, when you look at Terra, Aqua, and Ericus particularly, yeah. their outfits purposefully mesh um, Japanese and samurai clothing. Yeah, period, especially Ericus. wise with medieval clothing with the night stuff mm. to evoke on both the eastern and western ideals of uh, fairy tales That's so cool. it's really cool it's fun i love that i'm learning a lot today aqua goes through bbs isa versus bbs lee their their kid outfits oh i like both of them what this is this I, question i love lee's it looks I think so lee's is a little bit better yeah but i do like both of them vodka says both suck uh, Barnabas says, question for PJ, does Aqua's garment count as a corset? It is, it is a corset. Yeah, it absolutely is. Is it? Let me see. Oh, yeah, I guess so, huh? It's a it's a lace-up, but it's a corset. Don't call sure. Emma Watson for the KH movie. We ran out of tracks. Um, yeah. Um, all right, anyway, your thoughts? You like Lee better than Isa? I like Lee better than Isa. Um, I think the scarf is what pushes it over the edge for me. Yeah, I love the scarf. I love a good scarf. I can't. Those scarves off, were like very it. popular in 2010. Mm. Like Nomura is such a fashionista. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like hipster circles, right? Yeah, for sure. Like yeah. you, you saw that in a coffee shop. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, I don't hate the ice outfit either. I like his little moon crest thing that he's got going on. Yeah, it's good. Um, um but I feel like this has yeah. more personality in the Lee one. All right, mm -hmm. Ericus versus Sephiroth. Hi, Carl. What's up, Carl? Um, I, I need a new OST. FF Seven's a bit too orchestral right here. I'm doing the remake. Oh OST. my god, uh, Ericus, because I hate the uh, um, the Bizarro Sephiroth, or is it Safer Sephiroth? One of those with the multiple mm. wings. Yeah, he's got hip wings. That's true. I never really thought about how. Yeah, that flourish coming off of his pants there are wings again. It is it's a lot. I feel like cut those out and it's still really good. Like it's better probably. It's a little overdone I, I here. Mean, his Kingdom Hearts one outfit is just is this but without the extra wings. Yeah. 
And then Ericus, I feel like he got like that samurai angle there, mm -hmm. like you mentioned, um, also with the with the medieval touch. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I I like that. I liked it a lot. I'm gonna go Ericus. Mm -hmm. All right, Ericus goes there. Um, let's do. I need an OST, PJ. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. Um, we'll just do Dream Drop. Dream Drop Distance OSC. Give it a little bit of love here. Sure. Uh, do, do, do. We'll start off with Traverse and Trance. Okay. Moving on, we've got Mumu Zemnis versus Breg. Uh... Uh, I, I love a good, bold red scarf. I know. Are there people out there who are like Ephemer and Bragg? They're the same because of the red scarf. Uh, they think they're connected. Yeah, I don't think they are, for the record. There are people that, that think that Bragg has Ephemer's scarf on purpose. Interesting. Like, he found him and... Yeah, it's like, like he's, he's like, keeping it as a waypoint or something. Right, I'm yeah. Sure. That'd be kind of fun, but I don't think so. I don't uh, think so either. I, I love the Mumu Zemnis coat. It's iconic. It is a lot. It's it's cute. It's iconic. I like that it's you know a, an alternate take on the organization robe. Major mm -hmm. points for doing something new with it. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I I like them both pretty much the same. I just think yes. like to uh, as a, a uniform for nothingness, it's really solid to to invoke the white and the black to show the dichotomy. I mean, wouldn't you just wear nothing? True. Yeah. Zemnis should just embrace his nudist... Uh, Naked yeah. Zemnis. Naked, yeah. Naked Zemnis. Zemnis. Does that look like a 30-year-old to you? No, no. Well, As someone who's like two and a half years out from 30, that man looks at least 10 years older than me. Mm. Well, but he's 30. God, I'm going to be 30 soon. I know you already are, PJ, but it's just it's a lot for me. No, he's 30 on the dot. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going with that. I don't hate the Brig design. So, you good with that, Mumu Zemnis? I'm with whatever. I right. I'm, I feel indifferent about both of these. All They're right. both good. All right. Mumu Zemnis. Ven and Vanitas. Oh, difficult, because they're both very derivative. Yeah, Roxas for Ven and Dark Riku for Vanitas. Um, I feel like Ven's just got a lot going on. So just layers. Just, look at all that. No, I know, but I really like the general idea of the dark pajamas. And like you said, Vanitas does it better than Dark Riku. Right, but um, that doesn't mean I like it. No, I know. And look at that fugly keyblade. Well, listen, that's that's just part of the render that I happened to pick. I wouldn't I wouldn't hold that against Vanitas. Really? Because it was important at the start of this when we were talking about accessories. That's true, oh, but I there's... I'm going to do it with what Yeah, but there's render. other Vanitas renders. I think I picked this one because this was the cleanest one where his hat's, his helmet's off, but he also happened yeah, to be holding Yeah, and now you see how dumb he looks as, like, a dark-haired Sora. I don't hate it. Ugh, I, it's not I, great. I, I, do. I do. I hate it. I um, like it more than Dark Riku, but I still hate it. I'm... I'm going Vanitas. You okay, want to go Ven? Do whatever, do whatever you want. All right, we're going I Vanitas. I would go Ven, but I don't. Yeah, I don't care enough about it to fight. That's fair. BBS Riku, Child Riku, which is a bad render versus BBS Ienzo. <laughs> I think they're both really good. Yeah, I kind of like Ienzo's better. I love his kind of oversized lab coat. Yeah, it's really it's really cute. cute. Yeah. You want to um, do that? Yeah. Sorry, Riku. I don't hate the Riku design, but... I kind of like how it's uh, harder on the yellow here than the blue. It's a much brighter For sure. outfit. Indicative of his he's child a kid. self. He's a little, yeah. He's a little bean. Yeah. BBS Sora like versus BBS Kairi. Sora. Uh... Yeah, and also Sora rocking an outfit that I did in fact wear. Like, there's no way I didn't wear this. In yeah. like the uh, the summers of like two thousand four and five, sure, um, absolutely. Yeah, but that Kyrie outfit is atrocious. It's atrocious. Look at the little like the little X's with the with the circles inside. And yeah, I, I don't know. All right, I'm not maybe a Sora. I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. 
All right, we got Terra versus Handsome the White. Um, Ugh. I love Terra's design. I love it. Yeah. It's Terra by a long shot. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't think any form of Ansem the Wise could defeat Terra. Yeah, I did shove down a child and call her dress ugly. Yep. Yeah. PJ's and not made afraid. Forever for not having parents, too. I and said, you being a liar. Bitch. Yeah. Yeah. All of those Lying things. bitch. <laughs> yeah. You four-year-old. <laughs> All right, we're going Terra. I just lo I love the, the pants. I love his red X straps. His yeah, pauldron's cool. Do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> now we're getting into some really, really good stuff. Volley versus anti-black coat. Ooh. This is another remix on the organization coat with some pink accents. Volley. Um, yeah, no, same. Um, I do like, you know, the pink color scheme with Dream Drop, how that's represented here in the ABC. It's cute, but it's like, it's nothing. No, it's, it's nothing. Just... It's just, you know. Um, I like the ninja angle that Volley's taken here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go with that. Balder, we're getting into a lot of dark road here. I can't believe Vaki even put them in. Me Again, no either. Mickey. No Mickey, like, but we got... Mickey so much that you put in... I mean, okay. Balder and Heimdall. Uh, I'm gonna go... <laughs> Balder? I like, I like Heimdall better. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, look, Baldur's is really good for his character arc, yeah. like what ends up happening to him. But like, it's, it's just a solid design that I like. I like him goes better. What's up, Bio? All right, I'm fine with that. I don't. It's an eight nine. They're pretty even for me. I can't remember his. Oh, you literally think that Mickey just has Sora's outfit every game? Like you weren't saying that they were similar. You were literally saying that you thought that he had Sora's outfits. He doesn't, <sighs> Vodka. They're not at all the same. They, they have similar palettes, but they're not at all the same. It's referential, but it's not like a copy-paste. No, it's not even that. Like, in Kingdom Hearts 2, they're nothing alike. And in um, Kingdom Hearts 3, Mickey's outfit is a, is a knockoff of Riku's, actually. Listen, you guys Bio. can fight. You can fight afterwards, and Bio can join. <laughs> that's like me saying you're exactly the same as your brother. Like, oh, that's, shit. Yeah, I yeah how there. does that feel, Bio? To be yeah. equated to someone else like that? Yeah, how does nice. that feel? I would think that you'd be a little bit more sensitive, to be honest. We have uh, Helgi versus Urge. I love the fur on I on Helgi. Helgi. I That's love so Helgi. cool. You don't get that a lot in the original designs. Oh, I know. Um, what's going on with Urge's hair? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like it. Yeah, me neither. All right. It's Helgi. Like it. Helgi with the fur. 12 over 5. <laughs> Vidar versus Beat. I don't know why Beat's randomly in here, but here he is. Um, God, those oh, chains Vidar. look so heavy. Vidar! We love a black keyboard wielder. No, that's awesome. But look at these chains on Beat. <laughs> They're so thick. Why are they so big? That's got to be so cumbersome. It's so stupid. It is stupid. I mean, it's it's a fine outfit. It's pretty basic compared it to the It is actually pretty basic. It's really it's just the chains are the weird part of it. Everything else is pretty normal. Yeah. And um, yeah. No, Vidar is pretty pretty sleek. I like his yellow. Outfit. The yeah. palette's great. And it's, you know, I love, like, the sleeves puffing up. And his character design's really cool. His eyes are beautiful. Like, mm. I, I like it. Let's do it. Let's send Vidar through. Yeah. All right, Vala versus Joshua. Joshua, Oof. is that not the most normal outfit? Yeah, it's pretty much like... A button yeah. down and, and pants. That's a, that's a gay intern <laughs> right there. That's what that is. Yeah, what company is he interning for, do you know? Uh, Apple. Apple, sure. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> um, what do you think about Vala? Glasses? Um, That's kind I, of a rare I, choice. Yeah, but I hate this outfit. I hate. You don't like it. I, 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 hate, I hate her character design so much, and I always have. It's kind of um, like looking at it. It's very Riku reminiscent. At least the top half of like her. She does look like Riku. Yeah. I'm sure that's been made a meal of. With you know, she has the gray hair as well. Oh my god! And she was one of the only upperclassmen that appeared like in trailers and stuff early on. Yeah. So people were like, "Oh, she's she's connected to Riku. She's right. gotta be." Yeah. Um. Yeah, I hate her outfit. 
Fun fact, in, it is... in Japanese, her name is Volva. Yeah, I've heard. <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> Which, bonus points or minus points for that? I don't really know. Which way do you go on that? Uh, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fun. It's funny. Look it up, look it up if look you it don't up. believe me. <laughs> they did not. Yeah, they it's weird. Did. Like, they she's like top half Riku, bottom half dress skirt thing. It's the same as, like, Ericus's pants. Yeah. Is what it is. But so we're really um, gonna go Joshua, though? What choice do I have? I guess. I mean, I could wear the Joshua outfit. I'm always excited when I feel like I can pull it off. So. Um, okay. You wanna go Joshua? Yeah. But the glasses, I think, are neat. I feel like, is there any other original character that wears glasses? Um, I mean, yeah. Is there? Hold on, let me think. <laughs> I don't think there is. Yes, Mod, no, Aegis uh, from Varum Rex has glasses. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, fine. When the series well, is said and done, which character is going to end up being more important? You tell me. That's a good point. All right, Joshua advances somehow. We got Broggy versus Hoder. <gasps> I love Hoder. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Very flowy design there. Hoder, uh, sorry, Broggy, uh, kind of stepping on the um, he Helgi territory. <coughs> sorry, Helgi territory a bit there. Yeah, I choked a bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would go with I'd go with Hoder as well. Yeah, Broggy's cool, but like, guys, I mean, look, <coughs> oh, look, yeah. look at Hoder. Look at her. I turn off like it's a, it's a clean design. There's there's the kimono aspect of it, which we don't see a lot in Kingdom Hearts characters. Yeah. Um, it's a it's it's a great palette. It's a great hair. It's very sleek. Um, you know I love her. Yep. Let's do it. Hold the door. We got Ver versus. Is this Hermud? Hermud? Ermod. Ermod. But if if they were to say it in a game, who yeah. fucking knows what they would say? Because they're calling um, Kitchy, Kate Sith, and Rebirth, so anything's yeah possible. I just got to that part as well. I was uh, like, how are they going to pronounce it? I um, like Ver. I like Ver. Yeah, like Kyrie's Ver, grandma, but... pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she was Kyrie's grandma. Do you really? It felt like they had teed that up, and it could have really worked, and then... Yeah, there's no reason it couldn't have been like it. You know, the timeline wise, it would have worked out. It would have worked. They have a lot of similarities in their character design. Yeah, as well. Um, All right, I'm fine with Ver. I'm not getting a ton from. What was it again? Her Ermod. Er Ermod. Ermod. <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah. Who cares? All right, we've we've reached the end of the first round. We got Sigrun versus Sid. <laughs> You're saying it wrong. You're it's saying not... it wrong. Oh. I was challenging you. Uh, what do you think, Sid versus Sigrun? I don't know. If, I yeah, I was gonna say like everyone in the chat saying Sid, but I don't know if I love Sid's big belly. Now everyone's warmer. saying Sigrun now. Oh, they're, now they're saying Sigrun. I love Sid's cummerbund. I'm mad because Sid's outfit didn't change between games like everyone else's did. That is kind of bizarre, yeah, because he debuts in one along with Aerith and, and uh, mm -hmm. Leon, and they get updates, and he, has, he doesn't. Like, he has key outfits. His Advent yeah. Children outfit actually would have worked really well in two, because it's not all black and white. Like, yeah, that's so weird that they didn't pull for that. Um, I don't know. I just feel like Sigrun's is more fun. Sigrun would be Sigrun. the pronunciation. But she's, um, she's I, I love a plus-size character. Like the side the pony? The only one that we have is Pence. Side True. pony, love it. 90s girl chic love the pink love the kimono with leggings like this is this is a tumblr user turned into a keyboard <laughs> user. yeah and i love it yeah let's do it listen i think sid is kind of boring i i don't know he's a little plain i like the goggles yeah. though i like his little um cigarette placeholder yeah but... i love the fact that he's 32 fuck <laughs> God, all right, Sigrid moves ahead. So now we could probably go through the rest of these a bit quicker, but we are at KH1 Sora versus KH1 Goofy. I think I still put Sora through on that one. Mm -hmm. Don't have to look at all of them. KH1 mm -hmm. Cloud versus KH1 Yuffie. I lean towards Cloud wow. for that. Yep. Cloud. Wow, totally. uh, KH1 Kyrie versus KH1 Ansem SOD. Oof. Let's look at those I again. See. 
I say Kyrie. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Let's go People Kyrie gonna, on that yep, one. Yep, it's happening. People are I know, mad. But I agree some. with you. I think it's Kyrie. Ansem's is cool, though. I'm not going to say it's not. Um, organization Coat versus KH1 Leon. I think. I think Riku was a harder beat for the coat than Leon. I'm gonna stick with the coat on that. Yeah, I agree. All right. Coat Cinderella KH1 versus Gogo. Oh, Cinderella. Um. But I I might be alone in that opinion. I'm gonna put it to a poll for that one on Cindy versus Gogo. Best fit Cindy. Because <laughs> I kind of lean Gogo Ruthie's on that. coming for you. Listen, Ruthie, it's not up to me, it's up to the people. Vox Populi, you know? White dress is timeless, that's right, you're right. This will age better in the annals of history than the go-go outfit. Keep history out of my annals. Truth <laughs> is truth, <laughs> yeah. taste is taste. Listen, Cinder Cindy's winning by a little bit right now. Ruthie Terrible. says using the 400 bits for Cinderella. Okay. That's all I need is to be paid. Damn. Cinderella wins. Not that, not that you needed to, Ruthie. Cinderella is winning. Cinderella is winning. All right. Meg versus Alice. Oh, I think God. Meg. Meg, but that's hard. Is it? Yeah, Alice is. It's Alice cute. Alice is just so classic, though. It's classic. But I feel like both will age well, you know? Alice is I from mean, they 1950. Already they already have. Yeah, uh, but I I think as a piece of fashion, like I like Meg's design better. Yeah. Um, but Alice is good. Alice is a hard loss. Yeah. R.I.P. Alice. R.I.P. Meg moves along there. Rapunzel versus Belle. Belle. Um. Gold dress, iconic. Yeah. Ignoring that the KH one render looks like one of the flans from three. Yeah. Uh, I will I will advance Dude, Belle. Dirty. Elsa versus Elizabeth. That's Elsa, right? Elsa. Yeah. Riku Dream Drop versus Ephemer. Oof. Uh, I lean towards Riku for that. Yeah, me too. Sorry, Ephemer. Sorry, I Ephemer. Love you. Bye. Ava versus Scold. Ava. Although they might be the same person. <gasps> Monica <laughs> uh -oh. did that on purpose. <laughs> I doubt it. I don't think she would even be aware of that. Yeah, um, well, no one is. Yeah, I think Ava. I think the Keyblade really pushes Ava over for this. Um, yeah. Chat seems to be more scold inclined, but that well, doesn't surprise me. Chat, you know. Chat. Fine. I thought scold was subject X. We don't know. We don't know. I think the leading theory is scold, but we don't really know. Okay, yeah. Elrena versus Ira. Uh, Ooh, I'll go Elrena. You kind of swayed me. Yeah on the last round. I wanted to put um, I didn't want to put a side through, but I was down on the Elrena design, but you kind of sold me on it. The, the colors complement. Um, I'm higher on that now. We'll go there. Mm -hmm. Rhyme versus Streletzia. I think Rhyme, especially against this too. Streletzia outfit. I don't really like Streletzia's design even though yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, there's a lot going on and it's neat to pick apart all the details, but as a whole mm -hmm. package maybe not so much. So we'll go Rhyme there. Sorry, KH3 guys. Sora versus Anti Aqua. That's an easy KH3 case. Sora. Yeah, I don't even need to look at these. All right, KH3 Sora. Um, Isa from the KH3 ending versus Shion from the KH3 ending. Let's just pull up that one picture. I think Shion. Shion. Yeah. For sure. Um, it's a fun little outfit. KH3 Kyrie versus Lee KH3 uh, ending. Uh. Mm. Well, so I know I was down on the Cage 3 Kyrie outfit, but I do, I don't know, I can respect it. I appreciate it. I don't know. If... I would push I would push Kyrie through. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay. <laughs> leave. <laughs> <laughs> you can't spell leave without Lee. Uh, Cage 3 ow. Pence versus Cage 4 Sora. Sora. Yeah, I agree. Okay, over to the other side. We have Cage 2 Sora versus Cage 2 Hainer. Uh, mm. why do I kind of lean Hainer on that? I like Hainer's design better, but people are gonna crucify us. If we I know. Sora. I know. Uh, fuck it. Let's go, PJ. You and me. We're going Hainer. 
Yeah. We're doing it. We're, We're so doing boring. it. It's so Let's weird. do it. We got Cage 2 Olet versus Cage 2 Selfie. Olet. Yeah, Olet for sure. Uh, Cage 2 Cypher versus Cage wait, 2 wait, Tifa. Wait, wait, wait. How did Selfie win? Didn't we say no to her last time? Who was uh, she against? Oh, yeah. What the hell? Wait, what? What the fuck happened here? Wait. I'm so confused. How did she end up here? This is the Riku. I don't know. The Riku versus Setzer? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the bracket. So it was Selfie versus Hainer, and we put we advanced Hainer. And then how the fuck did Selfie show up when I advanced Riku <laughs> over Setzer? So this yeah, this should be Cage 2 Riku, which in that case, I think Riku wins over Olet. What is happening? That's so weird. Thank, thank God I was on it. Yeah, no, I totally missed that. That's Jesus. <laughs> So Cage 2 Riku over Cage 2 Olet? Oh, for sure. Yeah, okay. Man, Olet almost had a false victory. I don't know. Oh, um, people Cage are two... mad. Sorry. Sorry! Uh, Cage 2 Cypher versus Cage 2 Tifa. I kind of lean towards Cypher on that one. Uh, I like Tifa's outfit better. Um, Let's do poll. I mean, Tifa's going to win the poll, right? So let's just... I don't know. I really don't know. I don't no, know what these people chase. think anymore. No, they want Tifa. We'll advance Tifa. Um, this is why Yuna... everyone likes Cheney more than me. Because I'm like, I don't fucking care what chat says. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's true. I think they like you equally. Nope. We're going to put Roxas <laughs> ahead of uh, Yuna Gullwing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We got Pete versus Jack Skellington. Pete. Uh, yeah, it's so intrinsically KH. Yeah, give me, give the big boy some love. Yeah, give him some love. All right, Aladdin versus <laughs> Woody. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, Woody. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I will say, in the Battle of the Orphans, PJ, you're my preferred one over Aladdin. Did you catch that reference in the in the uh, in the video that I did? That was that was a you no. shout out. That oh, was that's yeah. nice. That was a you reference. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. My Kevin parents Flynn. are dead, you guys. That's kind that of like it's funny to to laugh about it. PJ, don't make me seem like that I'm the one who like brings that up more often than you do. I, I don't know, chat. Have I brought it up? Not on on stream, but like in combos with the mm. friend group. Well then, okay. All right. <laughs> we got anyway. we got Eric versus Kevin. <laughs> Sorry, listen. I thought. <laughs> listen. We got Kevin versus Eric. Going Kevin, Kevin on this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fair with that. I'm good with that. Yeah. I won't let my love for Eric blind me to the truth. Yeah. We got Shang versus Clayton. Oh, Shang, for sure. Um, yeah, I feel stronger on the Shang design there. Yeah. We got uh, Aqua versus Lee. Aqua, right? Ooh. Ooh. Really, Aqua. the BBS? BBS, yeah, I would say Aqua on that. Yeah. Uh, BBS Ericus versus Sephiroth. Uh, um, Ericus, right? Ericus. But yeah. didn't we not pass Sephiroth through? It happened again. Yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, what was it? It was supposed to be Moo Moo Zemnus. Yeah. What the fuck is going on right? with the formula? Yeah, no, you're right. Wait. No, you're right. No, it's it was it was I'm Ericus, not fucking it right? Ericus and Sephiroth. Yeah, no, and it was Moon it was Ericus was against yeah. Break. Yeah. And we advanced Moon Muzemnus. Moon Muzemnus won. Yeah, okay. so in this case, I would actually advance Moon Muzemnus over Ericus. Um, I guess but, I would too. Okay. Uh, BBS Vanitas versus Little Coat Ienzo. I think I want to go Enzo. Little Coat Ienzo. <laughs> I love Ienzo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's so in in the in the secret ending, like there's just something about the way that he stops and looks that's just oof. Yeah. It's great good. storytelling. BBS Sora versus Terra. I gotta go Terra on that. Terra. Yeah. Volley versus Heimdall. I gotta see both of them again because I cannot conjure them up in my head. Oh, Volley. <laughs> I like the ninja look. Yeah. He's also uh, the only one wearing a mask. And Dark Road was post COVID, right? So, Very COVID conscious. Yeah. Helgi versus Vidar. Ooh, Helgi. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm going Helgi on that. I love the fur I'm coat. Sorry, Vidar. I love yeah. you. But They're both good. I, we back to Joshua versus Hoder. 
I think we're gonna go Hoder on that one, right? Yeah, bye Josh. Yeah, bye Josh. We got a uh, Ver versus Sigrun. Uh, oh, Sigrun, Sigrun. Sigrun, yeah, I agree. Um, I do like the the purple in uh, Vers though. I think Quick that's question. A, Where the yeah. fuck did Bio go? Coming in here, telling me my pronunciations wrong, and then he just jetting. shows up. He's he goes with the wind, you know. Yeah. All right, we'll go Sigrun. Now we're over to the round of thirty-two on the left. We got KH1 Sora versus KH1 Cloud. Sora. Yep. Yeah. KH1 Kyrie hey. versus the Coat. I think I put Kyrie through over the Coat. Oh, I do too. Sorry, yeah. guys. Sorry. Um, KH1 Cinderella versus Meg. You're gonna go Cindy, aren't you? Really? I gotta. I, I mean, I, I yeah. think Cinderella's dress is like prettier, but I think yeah. as far as character as concepts design. and fashion goes, it's Meg. All right, I wanted to go Meg anyway, so I just I just expected you to go Cindy, but we'll, we'll take that. Maleficent's not on here. Neither is the Evil Ooh. Queen. Yeah, you're right. Some more villain yeah. synergy could have been fun. No Jafar. Yeah. Um, we got Belle versus Elsa. Uh, Eileen Elsa on this one. Eileen Belle. All right, let's do poll on that one. That, I wanted better people vodka. I didn't want seven thousand Soras. That's Elsa what I wanted. Versus. Bell. I should have audited this before we did it. <laughs> I did send it to you. Elsa. Wait, did I send I it to you? I know. You did. Oh, okay. Listen. But it's... I only... I, You're busy, I guy. I didn't really look at it. Because yeah, I was like, okay. sure, this is fine. Yeah. Elsa isn't that good. It's really not. The no. golden ball gown is gorgeous. It is. But, you know. What? It's fine. What if you want Elsa, who am I to... I don't know, Ruthie. Probably because I'm not fashion conscious. I'm a dumb guy. I'm, I'm Just very say drunk. Just straight. That's straight, yeah. That's, <laughs> Just... <laughs> that also plays into it a lot. Yeah. No All one right. on the panel. You know, Vodka, you don't know this, but I'm I'm going to tell you right now. I am a gender. I don't sure. identify as a male. Sorry, y'all. I know that's sure. a lot of fun to dunk on me for that. But uh, this is not the stupid guy show. It's true. Okay. We got Ava versus Riku. Dream Drop. Uh, I'm going Riku Oof. Dream Drop. Um, uh, yeah. Yep. Send that through. Besides, don't uh, get mad at us because Nomura isn't as good at designing women as he is on men. Like, that's a Nomura problem. Yeah. We got uh, Elrena versus Rhyme. I lean towards Rhyme on this. I won't be mad if you're Elrena. I'll, I, I'll see I to pick, it. I pick Elrena. All right, let's do it. I'm fine with it. We got KH3 Sora versus uh, KH3 Shion. I think the Sora outfit is stronger overall. I like Shion's, but I mean, I think that Sora's is probably the the, the winner. Yeah. I think we need to see more of Shion in action in this. Yeah. It's it's pretty new. It's only in like two shots, so I'm going to yeah, go Sora on that. Yeah, they'll give her a new outfit in four. Yeah. Don't even think <laughs> about this ever again. Yeah. KH3 Kyrie versus KH4 Sora. Ooh, oh. Sora. Yeah, I agree. I'm fine with that. All right, over to the other side for round of 32. We got KH2 Hanner versus KH2 Riku. I think Riku for that. Riku, for yep. sure. KH2 uh, Tifa versus KH2 Roxas. Roxas for Roxas. me. Roxas. Yep. Uh, Pete versus Woody. Pete. Uh, Pete. Pete. Yeah, I think Woody is Pete really strong. Pete, come on. I know, I know. All right. All right, all right. All right. Kevin Flynn versus Shang. Uh, Oof. I'm going to go Shang on that Shang. one. Yeah, let's just... Yeah, I think so. All right. Aqua versus Moo Moo Seminus. That's going to be Aqua. Aqua. Yep. Uh, Ienzo versus Terra. Terra. Terra, yeah. Uh, Volley versus Helgi. Ooh. Ninja versus Fur Coat. Um, I say Helgi. Yeah, that's where I was starting to land that as well. luscious hair! I just yeah. can't. I Great can't. locks. Okay, Helgi the goes through. The hair. Love it. Hoder versus Sigrun. Ooh. Sigrun. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm good with that. Sigrun. Honey, come on, come on. All right, we are in the Sweet 16, baby. Cage one Sora versus Cage one Kyrie. 
I uh, I was leaning Kyrie on this one. Oh, interesting. Um, I think we got to put Over. that to a poll. Uh, Kyrie's winning in the comments. I'm fine with putting Kyrie through. I just think that Soros is. It's iconic. It's it's cleaner and it's I like the palette better. Yeah. But I don't have a problem with Kyrie's. Like. No, I like both of them. If you wanna, if you wanna put her Crocs through, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's not Nikki's outfit. They're not wearing the same thing. Kyrie's winning that, so we'll send her through. Meg versus Bell. Oof. Meg, Meg, Meg. Yeah. I Let's think do it. Meg, but <laughs> Bell's dress is just ugh. I know. It's a good dress. DDD Riku versus El Reina. I'm going Riku. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I'm El Reina sorry. stands. I'm sorry. I love El Reina's outfit. Cage really 3 Sora versus Cage 4 Sora. I think Cage 3 for now. Till we get I a bit more, maybe. All right. It's another poll, baby. Let's do it. People I need to see. see. I know. Better fit. Cage 3 Sora. Cage 4 Sora. Vote now. I think we're just not a, we're not familiar enough with KH4 Sora to. What's there to know? He's got he's got a blazer. He's got yeah. Cuffs, he's got a little hoodie. Yeah. He's got normal sized shoes. Not here. He doesn't. Here he's got dirty he's, fucking feet. It's because he's inside his house. I know. I know. All right, we're going KH3 Sora. And then over to the other side of the Sweet 16, it's Cage 2 Riku versus Cage 2 Roxas. Ooh. I'm going Roxas. What do you think, PJ? I like Riku's better. Oh, <laughs> Go God. to a poll again. Oh, Another poll. Let's try, let's see. Everyone says Riku. All right, maybe we should just, I don't know, got, you got a Roxas in there. All right, better fit. Roxas Cage is two Riku. fine. Hey, just... rocks us. I just like the checkerboard setup. I, I like it too, but it, it spiraled out of control. Yeah. Um, let's see what the chat says. Oh my god, it's nine o'clock. I know we're almost done. Um, we're going Roxas on this, according to the chat. Sorry, PJ. <laughs> They're all pawns in the chess game. It's literally the motif of the series. Yeah, you're right. Uh, P versus Shang. I'm fine with P on P. this one. Yeah. P. We got Aqua versus Terra. Uh, I think it's Aqua. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Helgi versus Sigrun. Sigrun. I'm, I'll just I'm not fight with you because I'm not passionate about either of them. So I'll I say Sigrun. I love that little outfit. Look at her. She's got a nice little outfit. Look at her. The side pony. Sakura yeah. pedals on her. On her. Yeah. Like, she's adorable. It's adorable. All right. She, she's got leggings. This pants. It's true. <laughs> Elite A K H One Kyrie versus Meg. Meg. <laughs> um. Let's look at these again. Let's look at both of these. I think yeah. these people are letting their biases about the characters ruin. Like I know, I'm trying hard not to, but I do think Meg is a better design overall. So we'll go Meg. The 12 seed, making a push into the... She's in the final four. Meg's in the final four. Does that make sense? I mean, kind of not, but we didn't put her in the bracket, did we? That's true. We didn't put her in the bracket. If we wanted it to only be Kingdom Hearts original characters and designs, we would have... Dream Drop Riku versus Cage 3 Sora? I think I lean towards Cage 3 Sora there. Okay. You good on that? I, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the word of caring. Yeah. We got Roxas Cage 2 versus Pete Cage 3. I feel like you're going to fight for Pete here. I am. Uh... Uh, it's okay. I, I'm the only one who thinks that. It's fine. I gotta go Roxas. Uh oh. What? Chats. Chats. Back and forth. Yeah. Well, I think it's more Roxas. I, I don't know, Brian. Look at your pants. Is there is there a zipper on the crotch? That's funny. Huh. 
Um, yeah, most of us do have crotch zippers. Not all the time, but I'm sure all of us have worn some sort of pants situation Just give that with a crotch zipper. But hear me yeah. now, Roxas yeah. is not winning this. Okay, I'm fine with that. Listen, I'm not I, I'm not super passionate about any of the outfits, so... Aqua because versus Sigrun, it's gotta be Aqua. It is, but I don't, you know, yeah. Sigrun is great. Yeah. Um, we are in the final four, Meg versus KH3 Sora. Sora. <laughs> yeah. And then it's gonna be, what was it? Uh, Roxas versus Aqua? I think it's Aqua, Aqua. there. And then I think it's probably Aqua wins the bracket. What yeah. do you think? Let's yeah. look at them both. Let's just take a, a gander at both no, of them. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, it's such a good design. It's so good. Yeah, it's it's good because it's it's wholly original. There's nothing yeah. derivative about Aqua's design. Mm -hmm. It's clean. It's fresh. She's not connected to any other characters. It's a good color. Yeah. Its references are very clear. What they're pulling from. Yeah. Um, I, I would love to see her with new with a new outfit. It's you know, fun with a new saga, but it's it's good. It's it's probably the best outfit. It's feminine and strong. Um, it tells you a lot about her character. It's good. Yep. All right, folks, we did it. And Vaka says, write the champion in yourself, bitch. So I will just say Aqua is the supreme fashionista, the winner of the cage fashion bracket. Master Aqua. We did it, Master. Yeah, let's type that in. Master Aqua. Boom. And that's a promise. That's a fucking promise right there. Congratulations. Love to see it. PJ, thank you so much for joining us for this. I, I, I learned a lot. I was to be able to talk about character design and yeah. actually like talk about these things that are important to me. Yeah, not only was it a great i think a, a great person to have as a co-host for this but just like to to learn more about like the subtleties of, of the outfits and the references being made and in, in some of these design choices um i love to learn stuff in in these kh brackets and, and the blockets and all that so really yeah, cool stuff. from now on if i want to teach you something i guess it has to be through a bracket yeah that's that's a good way to get my attention so Thanks, mm -hmm. PJ. Okay, people, people are demanding to know what's coming up next, so please tell them before they oh, shit their pants. Yeah, so the trio bracket. I'm going to do that. Kiwi is so far slated to make a return on a week from today, next Thursday. So it's going to be a bunch of different trios. We're just going to uh, gauge them on how, I guess, how much we just like them, you know? Not really story significance, but just like how how united they are as a trio and their their strengths and weaknesses as, as a unit of three. Should be interesting. I don't think I can watch that. So. That, that might be tough for you. That might be tough for PJ. I'm gonna go back because yeah, I fucking know that the Sea Salt Trio is gonna win. Uh, the easily emotionally manipulated Days fans will probably yeah, turn these, out. Yeah, these melodramatic lovers of, yeah. of salt. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There's I no mean, point in watching. It Have is fun. Sad of, people. Of my of the main trios, it is my preferred trio. Oh but my god! Split that, my wrists. I'm sorry. Bye. I'm sorry. Bye. Gag PJ, me with a spoon. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. I appreciate you putting up with me here. Uh, you know no, where to no, find no. me. You were great. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, really, like, this would not have been... I, this was it's ten times more interesting with PJ on because I have nothing to say about, you know, design. I'm very... Uh, it doesn't matter what they're dressed up as to me. So I have very surface-level opinions on this. But it's always good to bring in an expert. Um, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Discord, I'm on Patreon. We'll be back Saturday at 4 for Sonic Adventure. I don't know what the trivia is yet. I'll get scheduling on that uh, soon enough. But thank you again to everybody for hanging out with us tonight. Such a fun time. I'll kick it to the outro. Be safe, be kind, be courteous, and I will see you next time. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.